As you guys know, I'm all about, you know, trends. I'm all about conforming. Not even a joke. I'm all about trends, all about conforming. All about being one of the guys, okay? You know, call me Aiden Ross. Call me, um, Pokimane. Hey, chat. Hey, chat. <laughs> hey, chat. <laughs> um, yeah, what's up? We make it look easy. Listen, today, guys, we've got some drama to talk about. We definitely have some drama. There's some there's some funny stuff going on. Some funny stuff. There's a bunch of stuff that I want to talk about that kind of happened on Twitter, but I already recorded a video about it, so probably... I probably won't talk about it today. Um, it's not like anything super confidential or anything. It's just like, it's ready to go. It's written. I haven't recorded it, but I'm going to record it tomorrow. But it's basically the whole... I don't know if you guys saw, there's been some some Twitter drama over at my good friend's account at Anon Bird. I really love that I have a tipster lolly in my Twitter search results from looking at that drama let's look at this for those guys who don't know i got into a little bit of twitter drama again in fairness i mean it's not like it's unintentional but um let's see here where to start so too mad basically too mad started tweeting and he basically like stole some twitter artist art i thought it was funny where is this uh here we go so too mad like tweeted out this art it's just like blaze the cat art or whatever yeah, so they, he tweeted out this, like, Blaze the Cat fan art, and he put, like, a mustache over the original artist's um, Twitter at. Uh, it's obviously, you know, it's a troll or whatever. Everyone knows Too Mad is not a Sonic fan artist, but a lot of people were mad at this. They were like, no, you can't steal the f***ing art. And a lot of people, you know, he has some some memers in chat, but a lot of them were like, you're not fooling anyone. Bro, memento. Credit the original artist post, please. Stealing art isn't funny. Not your art, bucko. And, you know, it's like... On one hand, I kind of get the sentiment. It's like, oh, he stole art. But also, like, okay, so first of all, the art's not being made for money. It's being posted for free. So it's not like there's any profit being made off of it. And secondly, like, it's Sonic fan art. Like, how mad can you really be, right? I made this tweet about it where people were like, you know, their, their takeaway from it was like, oh, you're justifying theft and oh, fan art is real art. You're saying it's not real art. It's like, that's not what I was saying. I was just saying, like, it's not even your intellectual property. It's not your character. You're not making money off of it. It's just like, you know, it's nice art. I mean, it's, you know, it's well done to their credit, but it's fucking, it's Sonic fan art. But Twitter made them rage he made them he made them seethe and he posted this response video see it's right here i think yeah he posted this response video earache war <laughs> which is pretty funny um oh he uploaded a video on youtube i'll have to check that out but he posted this and then this bad youtube content thing said you flat out stole art and removed the watermark if you guys you guys know i have a beef on this account and uh a lot of people were like oh you're just mad because they they you yeah i'm mad you don't get to disrespect me mother I'm Turkey Tom, okay? I'm the Turkey Tom. I'm one of the greatest, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm one of the greatest minds YouTube has ever seen, okay? You don't disrespect me, okay? You don't get to just miff me without receiving some hate, but I waited till the time was right. So I, I said, which is funny and Twitter artists need to get shit on more. And then they said, they were like, I think I speak for everyone when I say stick to your gimmick because they screenshotted my stream where I like looked at their tweet and you got my hands. And so I, I quoted to them and I was like, you speak for 14 year old Redditors and furries and you should be ashamed of yourself for being such a waste of space on Twitter servers. I thought it was funny. Okay. I thought it was pretty keck. I thought it was pretty keckle, pretty keckle stan. But um, a lot of people were like, oh, you just make sh YouTube videos. They're a gimmick account. You're no better than them. And then I made, yeah, so, so I made the tweet about how it's like funny. And I said, what's particularly funny about this is that the piece of art that was stolen fan art was a Sonic character that they did not create. Too Mad owns you. And I wasn't saying like fan art is like not real art. People draw fan art of me. I think that's cool. I, I literally, I had a competition for fan art and I paid for people to like do it. You know what I mean? I, I paid literally hundreds of dollars. I paid them. Um, and in the past, I've paid a bunch of people to make art for me. It's not like I don't think art is like real or something or like I don't respect artists. Like ironically, you know, I, with my money, respect artists more than anyone. I pay people thousands of dollars on a monthly basis my january expense was like thousands of dollars i think ten, tens of that it was like tw more than 20 grand that i paid people um not just art but video editing and writing and research and a bunch of stuff because i you know i have the, i have the turkey tom team assembled but there's this whole thing going on where they're like fan art is real art fan art is real art it's like dude no one f***ing cares about your f***ing art okay and that, that was just the point i was making is that it's, not, it's a non-issue it's not a big deal and uh twitter artists are way too sensitive it cringes me the out okay um so this person said you flat out stole artwork i said which is funny and then i said what was the other thing i think i already read this you speak for 14 year old redditors and furries and you should be ashamed of yourself for being such a waste of space on twitter servers i hate this person i hate them they're terrible the account's run by a 14 year old as far as i know cringe cringe children okay we're going rice gum mode today we're going rice gum mode kids F kids Okay, call me rice gum the way I'm bullying kids on the stream. Meta irony, just joking. Anyway, people were mad at me and whatever. They started bringing up the N-word DMs from, I can't believe it's been five years ago, just those DMs at this point, but um, those particular DMs. But I tweeted this picture. Some of you guys who don't know, I, I tweeted recently that I bought an Audi. So I, tr I showed like a broken down, like 
dub Audi to make it more believable. And I was like, are you fucking happy? You all got what you were wishing for. I lost traction and sk slid into a school bus. I hope you're happy. You people are evil. And this was like copy and pasted from this like copy pasta that I saw around on like Ruben Sims account. Like he tweeted out uh, a picture of like a Nissan Altima or something like something like that. Um, Cause all the furries were mad at him. So he tweeted some shit. Um, hey, here we go. Are you happy? You all got what you were wishing for. I lost traction and slid into a curb. Hope you're happy. You people are evil. But he tweeted this out. He got 6,000 likes. So I was like, I got to replicate this. And I managed to get 6,000 too. 6,600. And uh, I just t I tweeted the picture of the crashed A4 or whatever, which looks really f***ed up with the ambulance behind it. Then I got a message from Josh Moon from Null. And he was like, he sent me like a Sam Hyde video of Sam Hyde talking about how like getting in a car crash will f*** up your life. And I messaged him back. I was like, it's fake. It's not real. And he was like, oh, I saw a bunch of people in the Kiwi Farms chat talk about it. And a bunch of people on Twitter, and this is a great irony, a bunch of people on Twitter were like, you you deserved it that's glad they're posting like, memes about it and then on kiwi farms when i posted in chat i decided to go troll them a little bit i was like guys i just crashed my car i need help they weren't even mean one of them was like kys f slur which obviously you know whatever but then a bunch of them were like trying to get me help they were like we're gonna we're gonna help you bro they were like where are you you should call the paramedics you should call 911 they'll help you the police can't just leave you on the side of the road after a car crash they'll take you to the hospital they were like they were like concerned the kiwi farmers were concerned about me which like i can them for believing the stupid crash thing all i want but they were not you know they were nice okay they were very kind to me what's up brandon buckingham and chad how's it going buddy so yeah that's the twitter drama there's some other stuff i'm going to be discussing in videos uh, i recorded one about this like article about uh what is it about? About like being a child YouTuber, my kind of thoughts on that. And then I also recorded a video about just some like random updates, like um, Amaranth Stalker or whatever, Sweden Eda Stalker. I talked about, I talked about this like kind of entitled girl who thought that she should get like more money on Twitch. Anyhow, without further ado, we're gonna get to the point of this stream. Um, So recently, recently, uh, there's been some drama going on with a YouTuber named Daft Pina. You guys, uh, he's kind of in my genre. We kind of were more closely aligned during a different period of our channel when we were art criticism YouTubers, I guess, for, for a, it was only a brief period for me, but I was for a short time. He's still doing that same kind of thing. And he got in some huge drama. A lot of people, you know, have talked about him for a while and they've been critical of him during like the Tina Fate drama. There's a bunch of other shit that happened with him. But Daft Pina put out a response to all of the LS Mark drama recently, which I covered on stream. It's, it's too much for me to go over in depth, but to make a long story short, just stop, put out a video like exposing LS Mark's relationship drama with his girlfriend, like being, it's like fucked up, meaning if who like cheats on him and like his fucked up friend group and whatever i guess she was an alcoholic there's a whole story there and then it was kind of like well okay you shouldn't have exposed that to the public his girlfriend is a bad person and then she made a response to it it was like an hour two hours long and everyone in the comment section was just calling her a terrible person and then rice pirate mick made a response to it because he was involved and he like dated veronica and fucked her and then they were like living in the same house so there's just this whole this fucked up thing going on okay there's this up thing and then a bunch of people made critical videos about daft pina i mean if you look here harley tbs six days ago hour and 16 minute video says daft pina doesn't deserve another chance the real daft pina this this is a just stop video called clearing the air where he like shits on him and like disavows him rhythm red for four months ago daft pina crooked critic how he's lying to you i mean a lot of people just 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 don't like him okay down the rabbit hole daft pina versus the there's just a lot of videos about it, okay a lot of videos daft pina the biggest liar on youtube the biggest the biggest liar on YouTube. And um, for those of you guys who don't know, I've been kind of uh, I've been kind of friendly to Daft before this point. I haven't like messaged him specifically and be like, F you man about this, but I definitely disagreed with the way that he handled the whole LS Mark thing. I thought it was kind of f***ed up, kind of freaked up. But I think Mark's married to her now. There's like a whole thing. It's like, I don't like Mark's, you know, wife or whatever. She's f***ed up. She's, she's a freak. But also like it didn't need to be made public. It's just the whole thing. And Daphina's past drama. It's kind of complicated, okay? It's too much to explain now. But we're going to watch the video Daphina put out. I'm sure he'll explain it a little bit and we'll see his defenses for how he handled this drama, I guess. We'll see what he said. It's a 55 minute video. 55 minutes. So I'm going to check it out. If I don't have that much to add, then I'll just off and talk about something else you know it's a pretty big uh it's a pretty big video i want to check it out and see if it's entertaining see if he says anything interesting and um give my hassan piker reactions okay hassan piker reaction to this drama ask for my opinion on daft pina ask for my honest opinion on daft pina guys my honest opinion what, what a, a fucking weaselly, weaselly little liar dude what, what a fucking weaselly little liar dude holy shit, dude holy shit. Dude, for that. literally, literally lying. lying. Still, Still lying, lying to his audience. audience. Someone at least fucking enlightened Destiny that he's literally lying to his audience. What a fucking piece of shit, dude. Holy fucking shit. 
dude. Okay, classic clip. Let's watch this Daft Pina video. My scandal with LS Mark and my cyber stalkers. 17 minutes ago. Fresh off the press is 39 minutes ago now. Fresh off the presses, guys. Fresh off, fresh off the presses. We're gonna check this out. We're gonna see what the deal is. It's not often during laundry airs in the wind for everyone. Let's see what the comments are saying. People commenting, delete your channel or this sucks. Maybe consider watching the whole video. The guy is leaving drama behind it. Honestly, this is a good thing. The world sucks and there are far bigger monsters in it than the dude with the food with the orange hair cartoon review, man. I'm just sitting here in my chair eating popcorn. Poor Dubis. Doesn't look like a lot of people are super supportive of him. They're just kind of like, this is a situation. This is a heist. This is high school in a video. Okay. We're going to watch this. We're going to see how wrong Daft Pina is if he deserves to be canceled, but I guess he's done with the drama. So, Tom Dark, have you heard of the situation with Plagued Moth? I have. He's kind of spurging out on Twitter, but I don't know if the Patreon stuff is real because I thought I saw that creepy reading tweeting about it, but I don't know if it's totally real, but yeah. Would you get on the PKA podcast if invited? Yeah, definitely. I like the show. Want to breathe. But when you look at what's in the mix, you start to realize you should have thrown out the whole basket long ago. The players in this pile are Veronica and Joey, Sunny TM, Ellis Mark, Just Stop, or Braxton, and Rice Pirate, or Mick. They all have their own hidden histories with one another, all shown through the lens of a former Just Stop video. Now, I was a part of it. Though my involvement in the situation was greatly exaggerated, and at times, outright lied about. Now, I didn't want to rush this video, as I learned my lesson from Tina Fey 1. Taking your time is a better thing to do, and being too fast you can slip up, making it look like you lied to everyone, even if unintentionally. Luckily for me, I have receipts to prove my case. I will cover everything from Braxton's video, his response, Franca and Mick's response, as well as finding out what Mark did behind my back. So I guess he's kind of playing the long game with this one. Looks like he's going to on LS Mark, so that should be interesting. Definitely good to wait, you know, on, on the drama like this. It's good to kind of take a little while for this one. Mm, drama! <laughs> Alright, let's watch this video. Back. Now to be clear, I'll be showing a lot of DMs, so pause the screen and read them when you can. But before we get into the video Braxton made, let's have a recap of who, how, and why his video is created. I'm the kind of person where, if I'm like deeply, deeply hurt, f you. You're on my shit list you you're not my friend i'll never be your fucking friend that's that's how i am braxton <laughs> this fucking bitch, dude she sucks man she fucking sucks she's uh <laughs> i don't know listen i you know i still don't think it should have been made public you know i don't i don't like veronica she's uh she's not she's not cool so self-righteous too so like anime cartoon if you're if you piss me off emotionally you're not my friend, dude. Since original video covered three main people, Rock and Joey, Sunny TM, and Ellis Mark. Now, I've had personal interactions of all of them, so I think it's best to talk about it. September 28, 2020, I DM Veronica because a mutual artist friend Beta's Inferno was speaking kindly about her works. Veronica used to work for Spindle Horse, and I was interested in her art. We talked for a short period of time, however, I quickly realized this wasn't someone I wanted to be around. You see, Beta stopped being friends with Veronica, and she opened up about how she was talking me to other people, calling me a racial slurs i could contact with her and delete what <laughs> she called him a and ra what racial slur cracker wigger what the hell racial slurs i guess she's like she looks like kind of white to me but i guess she's like mexican or whatever but calling him racial slurs that's funny i'm kind of torn i'm kind of torn is is it based i don't know based cringe i don't know i mean i feel like she's probably the kind of person that would like call out someone for saying the n-word or like being racist publicly but privately she's like this, I don't know. I don't know that for sure. That's an allegation in my mind, in my mind's eye. That just came off the top, off the dome, like rap lyrics. I'm like Danny Brown. Throwing it down, okay? I'm freestyling that one. But um, calling him a c and calling him, what, crack cracker? Cracker? What is she calling him? I don't trust Daft. I, I don't necessarily distrust him. I think that he has some kind of weird motivation sometimes, but that feels like a big thing to just make up, you know? I would believe that he was told that, at least. Maybe he doesn't have proof of it, but I can believe that he was told that by, uh, uh <sighs> What's this artist girl's name? Beta's Inferno? I can't find it. This girl, uh, I was added to a call with this Beta's Inferno person a while ago because they were talking about, they were talking about this drama and I was just kind of like interested in it to hear what they were saying and then they spilled a bunch of shit about Mark to me and I was like, oh. And then all that stuff came out in the video or whatever, but yeah, that's fucking crazy my messages and she was also relaying and leaking them to other people a year later veronica gets my attention on twitter so I dm her i confronted her about shit talking me instead of apologizing she says other people did it too oh the way she talks how are commissions and patreon going i'm busy with videos currently oh very advantageous a rewarding endeavor i must say what are the videos you're working on about with a laughing emoji she's clear she's so snide dude she's so fucking snide how snide is, is this girl very advantageous, rewarding endeavor, I must say. What are the videos you're working on? Is she like mocking him for being a YouTuber? Is that it? She's like this 30 year old, like washed up artist who just like draws herself like as a bee with like cum on her face all day on Twitter and like gets in drama with like 
fucking teenagers over Discord messages and like sleeping around like that. I don't, I don't want to hear her condescend to anyone, bro. I really don't. Inse that is good to hear. However, I saw you on a friend of me on Discord. It was only upon my notice you had deleted all previous messages to me. I couldn't help but think, um, I suppose we aren't pals, so I figured I'd take myself out of the equation. Of apologizing, she says other people did it too, but also I make videos. Yes, a few friends spoke to me about how you were talking about me behind my back, citing our conversations in specific detail, making fun of me, but I was also told I wasn't the only person you've done this to. How peculiar. I take it you spoke to people I no longer associate with, who I must say indulged in this as well as I took part. I won't deny anything, although we only had one conversation, which was a politically fueled one. You more or less incited. I found it very inappropriate, unprofessional, considering, especially considering I hardly knew you. I also feel from speaking with you that you aren't innocent either. You do discuss people as topics and have your own criticisms despite not knowing them. Would you not agree? The way she talks makes me fing mad. This sucks. You fucking suck. We're gonna keep watching this video though. We're gonna keep watching this video. It's about people, so that's basically the same thing. After asking who else shit talked to me, she never responded. Another year later, she tries to contact me, and I leave her on. Hey Daph, thanks for crediting me on your vid. You going to VidCon? She sent a Brian. I really hope when I'm 30, I'm not, uh... I'm not sending Family Guy memes. Is that too harsh? You know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I think I harp on the age thing a little too much, honestly. It doesn't change that much when you're older. It's just, you know, the way she's acting is very cringy. And that that paired with, with the age is just kind of like, God damn, you're old, dude. On red. But any mistakes of Veronica? She was Oni's GF. Yes, yeah, she was before she dated Mark. And then she dated Rice Pirate. And then she dated Mark again, I think. We'll lead to her leaking DMs of strangers. In fact, the day we had her conversation in Twitter DMs, she leaked her conversation on a shit talking server. This isn't to forget that happened to the point when I unfriended her. Even with all the shit talking she was doing, she considered us pals. Does she do that with all of her friends? talk? Sunny TM is a former Oni Plays member. I met him December 2020 on Twitter, asking if he'd like to voice one of the main characters of an upcoming project, as well as edit a script. This was because he made a critique video about my previous cartoon. He saw things that I didn't, and for someone like me who views art and animation, it was good to have someone be that person to me. Though our business relationship wouldn't last long, as he claimed to be caught up with streaming. I let him go, despite not finishing the work, and I paid an amount we mutually agreed on. He was then officially taken off the project, and his ideas weren't incorporated into the final one, as I went in a different direction. I would also slowly stop talking with him because he would try and rope me into calls of Veronica. Winter 2021, Sonny asked if we can call so you can ask some questions about something or- This Sonny guy, I don't really know a lot about him. I know he was involved in this drama in some way, but his involvement, I'm not really sure. He posted a video two days ago about this? Responding to the allegations, I assume? Being a hypocrisy exposed. State of Salt says, is all this over Daff making a bit on someone's personal life? It was over just stop making a bit on someone's personal life that Daff was like involved in existing. Well, he's got the green screen thing going on maybe he's a fine guy i don't know i don't know a lot about him i get why streamers hate video ICS because why the f would somebody talk like this willingly i was busy so i just asked him to type it out and i'll answer later rather than taking no for an answer just sending the questions in chat he proceeds to keep trying to call me as you see on screen right now sunny's last messages to me were cringe and try hard cringe and try hard his last messages to me were cringe and try hard I mean, he was kind of messaging him constantly. Are you scared yet? Are you scared? You should be. I'm almost free, Ron. I'm almost now, free. Now, this was- With the troll face. This guy's like- He types like me. This Sony TM guy is just like me. What the hell? This is how I type when I'm, like, trying to intimidate someone, which I, I don't really do anymore because I don't participate in, like, gay ops on Discord because I, um, make money. Um, I used to do that a lot. <laughs> I used to do that a lot. Back in my- Back in my younger days, we used to do a little intimidating over Discord, a little trolling. It was someone I believed I was on good terms with. It was shocking behavior from an adult I thought I could respect. And as we'll soon learn later, I wouldn't be the only person he does this to. Christmas Let's see here. What did that guy that could be reading? At least a video about his short time knowing me. Within it, he at least detailed believed I was on good terms with. It was shocking behavior from an adult I thought I could respect. And as we'll soon learn later, I wouldn't- Blocking LS Mark and this guy, this behavior is unacceptable. And honestly, they can both f right off. This guy keeps band-evading and this is a second message just like this. It's not funny. It's not trolling. Anyone that endorses this can f right off. I can't even see what he said, unfortunately. Be the only person he does this to. Christmas Day, Sunny- he releases a video about his short time knowing me. Within it, he leaks details about my upcoming pilot, showing the unfinished concept art and saying he hated working on my project. The reason why he delayed it was not at all related to streaming, but rather because he really hated it, though he never actually told me this during production. After his video released, he kept trying to get my attention, saying I'm ignoring him. I feel like there must be something missing here. Why was this guy so mad at him? Why was this guy so fucking angry at him? First daft L respecting anyone online. I mean, it's just kind of, uh, I, I still don't get why this guy even made a video. Was it just like he wanted to make fun of him now that he, like, thought he wasn't cool or something? Like, I don't know. I, like, leaking pilot stuff? Like, for no reason? Like, why? Why do that? Daft loves omitting context. 
I suppose, but I don't know what the context could be here that would change it. I just, I just don't understand exactly what the, what the, like he, he talks to him like once. Baldigang says, it, Sonny's just an edgelord locale. Gotcha. Um, I don't really know what the deal is with that. Guess we'll see. I was visiting family and having a nice time. Much like Veronica, he too failed to set any boundaries or bring up any grievances until it would benefit him. If I'm going to learn and get better, what am I to accomplish if all this do is pretend to be my friend, leak my stuff, and call me evil? I can't do anything. Whatever their motivations are, it's clear they didn't have my best intentions in mind, and these are not the kind of people you want to keep around. True. But you see, True. Alice Mark is great friends with them, and none of this is new information to him. Mark was a close friend of mine that I've known for nearly half a decade, and we even got to hang out at VidCon 2019. So when Sunny released his video about me, my friend Croy and I called Mark, warning him about Veronica and Sunny, noting that they leaked DMs, milk you for laughs will pretend to be your friend, and leaked projects that they worked <clears> on. Despite the red flags and very clear concerns, Mark shrugged it off. Over the next- That creepy reading says, the shirt picture is a shirtless blood shot eyed image that says i'm coming for you look that could be reading I, I think i know what you're talking about actually i think i've seen this i know you you say it's not trolling it's not okay i i think it's trolling i think it's kind of funny you know um it's kind of like gay to just send someone a shirtless picture of yourself unprompted especially when you're fucking fat um it's, it's kind of funny i don't know i think it's funny like i think frank castle and shit like that is funny so for me to say that that's not funny would be a total like hypocrisy right um so i don't know soma 23 thank you for the 10 sup just watching a little watching a little drama okay watching a little youtube drama Drama. Let's keep watching this. Next year, 2022, Mark would slowly start promoting Sonny and Veronica more than ever on Twitter. And Call it funny if you want, but I don't want to put... Yeah, I mean, fair enough. You know, if someone did that to me, I would probably block them too. His main channel. Over time, I slowly stopped talking to Mark. As if he was going to hang around these people, it wouldn't make sense for me to hang around him as much as we did before. Now, I thought this would be the end of it until Braxton sends me a message on Discord. December 1st, 2022, Braxton DMs me on Discord. Dude, I've been getting really concerned about something and so I'm growing over time. It's about Mark. I think he might be being emotionally abused. Now, Braxton was someone I trusted. He was a former drama YouTuber turned cartoon critic that I know since about 2020 with a brief interaction in 2018. When I read that message, I took it seriously because not only did I trust Braxton, but assuming this was about Veronica and Sunny, then things probably got worse for Mark. I asked my friend Croy to join the call because I trust his opinions and he has a much more level head than I do. Standing in is a neutral party. At VidCon 2022, there was apparently a negative experience at an Airbnb with Veronica, Sunny, and Mark. Braxton was there with his friends Neon Caffeine, Dumsville, as well as Chris Brad in DMs many months a lot of people that are just listed are fucking losers. Mostly just Neon Caffeine. She's a fucking nut job. Um, if you know, you know. That, that person is a fucking nut job. Um, Dumbsville? I don't really know who this person is. I, I think I vaguely remember they commented something mean on one of my videos. They were like, unsubscribe. I was never subscribed in the first place. On like one of the Pyrocynical videos. So there's some kind of furry apologist, which um, I'm a furry hater, as you guys know. I'm furry. Furry. Can't say that. I'm a furry hater. Um, so, but I, I don't really know a lot about this guy or what his deal is other than I think he's friends with Mark or whatever. I don't know what the, the context there is exactly. Months later, Veronica chastised Braxton for his behavior, which caused him to apologize. However, when talking with Neon Caffeine, Dumzo, and Chris Pratt, it turned out Braxton was being gaslit about what actually happened, mirroring the experience I had a year before. Braxton wanted to bring this to light amongst other things he found, and I told him I would not make a video for one very good reason. A lot of people hate me. If he felt this was important to inquire- He's friends with Fusha? Who is Fusha? Fusha. Sounds like some kind of gross. Fusha Mag- I assume he's not friends with Fusha Magazine. Who is- who's Fusha, guys? Chat. Chat, who's Fusha? Who's this- who's this Fusha? Who's this unnamed, undescribed Fusha Butter? Fusha Butter. Um, I have no idea who this is. I haven't- I don't think I've ever seen this person's videos. Toothpaste hair commits pee-pee sock? Hey. Uh, it's nice to be to have her. I'm sure you can understand why. Is your they're a brony? If you don't think Trixie's the best pony, it's not my fault. You're wrong. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's more pony. I'm just gonna get off. I'm gonna get off before I get too deep. I don't want to get too deep, guys. There's such thing as getting too deep, and I'm not doing it. We're gonna keep watching the video, but okay. I don't know. This guy is friends with Fusha Butter. Michael says I disavow. You you really disavow, Mike, for real. Also, uh, 
um, an animated outro and an animated intro. I don't know. Let's watch this. Part of video that would be on him to create. And so he did. For the majority of the time, Braxton would be working on the script and video by himself. However, he would have many people in and out on production. Calls ranging from two to eight people discussing the situation and gathering research. Now, Braxton was the project manager and I was essentially just research. Braxton would show the script to anyone and everyone he could to get outside opinions. Looking back at the messages, it's weird to see how much Braxton did by himself. December 6th, where he tells me he's already on his third revision of the script. Two days later, he already recorded the video and asked for things for editing. December 9th, he's edited the audio together and is worried about calling Mark. It was decided a call should be had with Mark to see how he was doing. December 12th, one third of the video was edited and he said he'd have it done by the weekend. The next day, the call would happen. Crowe was a sit-in with Braxton and I. He also suggested getting Mark on another call to work on script stuff. We wanted to make sure Veronica was out of the room and Mark was okay. Braxton decided to hold off on editing anymore, saying he'll wait till he talked to Mark. I agree with him. The call would happen and it was pretty awkward, with Braxton admitting confrontation is not a strong suit. After the call happened, Braxton concluded that he should continue the video. After the call we had with Mark, he uploads a video about South Park. It is a notable one as Mark was looking for YouTubers to voice over in it. Mark asked me to be in it, and I suggested if he needs additional people, Crowe in that creepy reading would be fine. Mark would go with the latter, but TCR had a change of heart. You see on Twitter, Sunny DM TCR a shirtless picture of himself saying, I'm coming for you. At the time, TCR did not- <laughs> <laughs> not know what Sunny looked like, just thought I had bad experiences with him. So to him, a random shirtless dude trying to be threatening looks cringe, so he blocks him. Sunny would later make his third video about me. I feel like he's not supposed to be threatening, he's just supposed to be like gay, but whatever. That for some reason also attacks people around me, including TCR? This is because he called him crazy in a debate. You know, looking at these messages that Sonny said to me, that's just an accurate term. So TCR DMs Mark saying he doesn't want to be in the South Park video, but can be one in the future. TCR even offered to find a replacement voice. Mark would shrug off any concerns about his friends by never responding TCR to this day. Sonny would again repeat this behavior on a new account, transitioning from day-to-day -day troll to stalking TCR. During the finalization of the script, as on a call Braxton and Crowe going over it. I suggested for things to be in it and stuff to be taken out. However, the things were either never added or completely rewritten. Within these calls, I took a step back on the video and further input, because even if he didn't see it this way, he really didn't want my input. Braxton again would be working on the script by himself, from making a through line to, it's recorded, to, it'll release next weekend. As he is editing, I tell him this is a delicate thing to work on. I also tell him before release, those involved need to watch it first. January 22nd to 2023, Braxton uploads his video to YouTube Unlisted, saying it's ready to watch. I tell him to take it down as it could leak and everyone needs to see it first. Just screen share using the file instead. And so Braxton showed this video to a lot of people, except for TCR. I was able to watch this video along with Crowe and Anon. I was like sent this video like the day before, like the day it, it released, like beforehand, like the unlisted link. And I was, I just like didn't respond because I was like busy or something. And I wish I had seen it before because I feel like I could have saved. I could have stopped it all. I could have saved the whole situation before it got bad. I just like, I didn't watch it because I was busy or something. And then it came out, I was like, Shit. so I like, I messaged Brax and I was like, dude, don't do that. Creepy reading says me too. Yeah. 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 Along with Braxton in the call. While we did like the video at the time, we wanted some changes made. Crowe suggested taking out the tweet that shows someone's name if looked up. I asked if Braxton could swap up my icon since I have a new one. He didn't do so, nor did he take out the problematic tweet. Crowe told Braxton that once he puts out the video, he can't go back and bridges would be burned. I told Braxton there was no reason this need to be uploaded today. I offered to just sleep on it and watch the next day because for cases like this, you don't see mistakes the first this is like different when i was i was told that like daft like really wanted the video out and he really wanted it out like quickly that after it was made public i was told that he uh was like talking to braxton or something and like kind of trying to get him to like keep it up and finally he kind of budged at the end of the conversation i don't know if that's the case but that's what i was you know told trust me braxton said he was very tired and just wanted out so 30 minutes later he released it i can attest to what i said before is after watching the video again braxton did a bad job when the video was posted it only stayed up for less than a single day I was told that Daft like was a part of every part of the script like writing it and like he was in like call after call like after call like reviewing it maybe that's wrong you know I was given the you know the wrong info or something but um I was told that he was you know intricately familiar with the whole video and the script and stuff like that so Creeper Reading says he certainly was a part of it well I know he was a part but he says he was but um I thought he was like a huge part Creeper Reading says not to that extent I'll message you uh when I'm done watching this all of the hard work he spent on was now gone so what happened when the video released a lot of 
of people on Braxton's side. This also makes the general ideas that Veronica and Sunny are bad people. Two notable situations involving the latter were Duba's Goobus and Sunny leaking someone's nudes on Oni's server. Now this was nothing new to Mark, as in her call he already knew. Dubas is a YouTube animator that had a short run of Sunny on his public server. One night, Dubas was talking to them and said a vaguely transphobic remark, to which Sunny started to record the call and fuck with him. He kept muting and gaslighting Dubas, added everyone to come in and make fun of him, causing him to be emotionally distressed. A private DM was shown on Twitter of someone telling Sunny to not make Dubas cry, to rather let him donate $100. I've been told that all these guys are like total degenerates behind the scenes, like like Veronica and all them. They're like, you know, not sparingly racist and transphobic and whatever and just think it's funny. I don't know if that's real, but obviously I you know, I don't have room to talk. I think it's uh it's a little funny. You know, you can make jokes like that. If you're like recording people talking about it, trying to f with them, kind of uh like hearted, in my opinion. Um, you know. I think it's so I I, I think it's I'm gonna go out on a limb. Gonna get for this take. This is this is how I feel. I kinda promised myself I wouldn't talk about this stuff, but um I think racist jokes can be funny. I think they can. I think saying slurs can be funny. I don't think it's funny in every context. You know, I think it's wrong to go up to a fucking black person and like call them the N word. But you know, racism can be funny. I think most people agree with that. I think most people probably would agree with that. Even like leftists and stuff who say that you can't make jokes about, you know, certain groups, they think it's funny to like shit on white people. And I think you should be able to shit on white people. I think that's funny. But I also think you should be able to make jokes about every other group. I don't think it's cool to actually be to actually uh, be racist in practice, right? To bar someone from getting a job because of their race or to you know discriminate friendship based on race or something like that i think that's not cool but um you know i think that uh you know making making jokes is fine i think making jokes is fine i agree but words can hurt yeah words can hurt they can hurt they can also be funny tom being racist and trying to cover up quickly i've, I've said nothing racist in this stream P people always like when you say that like you think racism can be funny it's like so you're racist and you hate black people it's like no dude i just think that you know jokes and stereotypes can be funny they've, they've always been kind of funny every comedian in the world jokes about it the biggest comedian in the world dave Chappelle, jokes about he jokes about trans people black people white people asian people mexicans he jokes about all of them you know and people recognize that it's not coming from a place of genuine hatred it's just he thinks it's funny michael says can't believe you'd say this i'm ending our friendship glarf glarf glarfy says the youtube animator degenerates yeah the word on the degenerates videos is that there's one more coming out i think it'll be out at the end of this month and then i'm not doing them for a little while so you uh you won't you won't be seeing any of those videos after that one but this one's gonna be a bombshell it's gonna be a bombshell it's gonna be gonna be a good one all right let's keep watching this video but yeah, basically, I've, I've just been told that these these guys are super edgy in private. So to like call someone out for transphobia is like, who fucking cares, dude? You know, dollars that if he does so, it'll all be worth it. So he agrees that that's as well the server meeting. True. So nobody ruins this. Why are you getting mad at listen, me, bro? What I meant to say was someone who used to listen. I was thinking of those Tumblr type people. That was wrong. I should you don't have to restart. Listen, I'll just admit I said it and say I'm sorry. Is that better? I don't yeah. know. I don't. No. Admit, admit to your fault and start saying it. Admit to my fault. I said, listen, what I said was transphobic, and I don't, and it was wrong to say, and upon reflection, I am sorry. Dubas made a public apology about what he said and donated the money. In Sonny's third video about me, he mentions this claiming that Dubas' apology wasn't real, and that donating the money didn't solve anything. For just saying that he is still transphobic, and asks why I'm Uh, you should make a TF2 Degenerous video. That's the next one. Probably the last one, for a while at least around him. This is all stemmed from me having a Dubas plush in the back of my side, by the way. Rooting off the most corporate apology possible to amend for his actions. Dubas Goobas eventually, after being prompted by me, donated $100 to a trans organization. And within minutes of doing so, turned it around to make himself seem like a good guy. But after being prompted by me, donated $100 to a trans organization. What? Who, f who gives a sh Man, Kraken, Kraken, Kraken for 20 says, I think my biggest problem with Daft is that he's a hypocrite. He'll cancel you for saying a slur years ago as a joke, but didn't apologize for saying Jaden faked her eating disorder for a whole year and criticisms are void. I mean, the, th the thing about Daft, and I've, I've questioned this, one time he asked me to like appear in a video, do like a voice line, where he was like calling someone out for like racism or something, like some Twitter artist. And I was like, dude, you realize like the stuff I've said on Discord, right? Like, you know, you, you know me, you know? And um, he didn't have a huge response to that that I remember, but yeah, let's keep watching. By saying, just how good he feels about helping people. Now, the video doesn't actually show what Dubas said. Just him having a panic attack because it wasn't recorded. This led to his comments asking about it and him saying, dude, trust me. Though it's weird to see how dedicated he is to the Goobus Dubas stuff, noting the fact that Mark and Dubas are friendly on Twitter. So by Sonny's logic, does Mark support transphobic people? Though I must mention that Sonny has sent many messages like this in an old server. I guess I can't read this on stream, but I guess I can't, I can't say Efsler on stream right now. Sometimes sometimes we do slip a little here, the Tom Dark show, but I think saying it 10 times would probably be bad. But uh, shut up, Efsler. Lol, Efsler. Shut up, Efsler. I know about iToy, Efsler. Shut up, Efsler. Talk about iPhone 12, Efslers.
and Efslers. Maybe if you spelt my name right, Efsler, I was willing to give her a chance, but I feel she's an uwu Efsler. I just gave my Discord if she cared, but I'm not going to keep messaging an Efsler at Tambo Efsler. Why I call someone out for transphobia and like try to get them to apologize if you're saying this? I just don't under like imagine if I imagine if I went on a tirade and I was like, guys, I think PewDiePie went too far. Like it would just be totally, <laughs> totally like for me to do that you can't i couldn't do that you know of course i won't read these out but i will keep them on the screen for you to see now to be clear these are old screenshots so sunny still holds dubas to what he did two years ago as if it just happened yesterday if he wants to hold people to the standard then people will do it to him too he would True. do this again towards bay's inferno for saying a word you can say i gotta wake up jameson soon and get ready good luck with your flight see you there and then Epsler. using a very old screenshot so i guess they're just saying here that she's here she was homophobic but here they're being like well, she's gay, so she can say With it. With how he treats people, best. The girl messaged me, I messaged back, and she ghosted me. I was willing to give her a second chance. I feel like she's an uwu Epsler. I just gave her a Discord if she cared. I'm not going to keep messaging an uwu Epsler. I don't chase horses. I feel like this guy does chase horses. Best of luck to him for his companion search. Dubas thanks Braxton for helping bring the story to light. Secret narcissist or Sir Pela's girlfriend try to attack. Yeah, bringing up the money was stupid, but I was having a panic attack at 2 a.m., so expecting me to think every word through is pretty unfair. And going from $100 to $500 is ludicrous no matter what I said before. What's your point? Secret Narcissist says, but you're avoiding the fact that you actually said something transphobic. Nice playing it off like you didn't. I just don't. I don't. I don't. I, so he said it on Discord and like private, man. You know, is this person even like trans? Secret Narcissist? I don't want to go on their account because this is 18, but why is everyone? Why are people mad? Attacking yeah. Dupus on Twitter, <laughs> founding the same propaganda. If it means anything, I appreciate you showing a less unfair side of the story for me. And as Sunny. However, the replies were not yeah bring up the money was okay we saw this her favor and she deleted one of the responses to the dubis but keep her in mind for later in the video while there was positive feedback on youtube twitter was a different story they're reading some of the reactions it doesn't seem as if people really watched the video before having a take one of the smaller errors i remember seeing at the time was from drummer youtuber Robus beaches who misremembered the age gap she said is it uh, yeah it's not a two-year age gap i think it's uh eight years big reason why people hate the video is because braxton hyper focused on the merit going into detail about how he found out. It was a case of wanting to fully use what he researched, though it should have been trimmed down. From the outside perspective, it seemed like an invasion of privacy, as he detailed the numerous times Mark would get dumped, cheated on, and cucked as Veronica was dating someone else while Mark kept hanging around. Saying that casually is so brutal. As he detailed the numerous, ti the numerous times he would get dumped, cheated on, and cucked by his wife. Found her. And seeing this, and noting the age gap of eight years, as well as the things Veronica and Sonny has done to other people, Braxton was worried about Mark. I mean, once again, my, my whole thing with this is like, it is f***ed up and she's a f***ed up person, but it, it didn't need to be made public. You know what I mean? It never needed to be made public, you know? Even, like if you want to help Mark, right? You know, this will happen when, you know, when you're a young guy, okay? You're thinking about your boys. If you're a young guy, you've got some friends, you've got your boys, you've got your bros. Chances are one of them is going to start dating someone weird. Someone f***ed up, someone not good for them. Clearly, Veronica was that in this case, and they ended up getting married. Um, And I guess Bra Braxton's concern, and I, you know, I, I assume his intentions were good here. His concern was like, oh, well, you know, I need to get them out of this relationship because it's hurting Mark. He doesn't know what he's doing to himself. And I, it looks to me like they tried to explain that to him, and he just kind of didn't listen. And that's the point where you have to stop, right? That's the point where it would stop IRL. You can't do anything, anything past that. What they did in this case is make a YouTube YouTube drama video about it that just didn't need to exist. Now, that being said, you know, you, you could make the argument that maybe Veronica deserved it because um, she had a habit of talking to people publicly in the past, talking about like Oni publicly in a negative way, just like leaking shit she didn't need to. You know, they're friends with this guy, Sonny, who does gay ops and stuff like that. You could you could make that argument. But as for actually the intention of like saving the relationship or something, it, it kind of just humiliated Mark more, you know, it kind of just made it worse for him because now not only does he get called a by his friends, but now like a bunch of people publicly call him like a c which which sucks, you know. To others, it just looked weird. While commentary channels were talking about his video, a friend of Braxton suggested they get on live stream. The host, Doc on the radio, actually suggested to Braxton that they can call tomorrow. It's funny to see Doc on the radio and like smaller people from Augie's community getting put on blast in like a big way, you know what I mean? Pretty funny. That was a very nice offer. This would have given Braxton some time to prepare, as he mentioned early in the day he was tired. Braxton would invite Mega came into the call. As it turned out, he helped look over Braxton's script January 17th, then gave the approval. It was noted by Mega came in that my name was not mentioned in relation to creating the video, but regardless, he thought the script was fine. During the call, Keemstar would keep trying to get Braxton and Mark on drama alert. Within the live stream, Braxton contradicts himself a lot, but we'll get into that later in the video. Braxton would eventually leave the call and join a group of seven people, including me. Braxton was in clear emotional distress and was asking what to do. He asked if I would make a tweet about the situation, and I told him I don't think that would be a good idea right now. Number one, people hate me. Just like his words on stream, they will pick apart everything I say to make him look- Number one, people hate me. You got that right, buddy. 
look stupid for even considering making the video. Number two, I learned my lesson from the Tina Fage situation that taking time of responses is good and that rushing to action is bad. Number three, this was after Braxton went on the live stream and made tweets discrediting himself for making the video. I don't know what tweet I would have made to defend him if he himself doesn't know what I should be defending. I told him if I were to respond, it would take time. 48 hours, a week, or maybe even a month. Every tweet and comment he makes pushes it back because I have to think of what to say. While we were in this call, a few people came forward with negative experiences of Veronica, Sonny, and Mark. This proof was so substantial, if we were able to have it before Braxton's release, the tone of the video would be 100% different. We'll go over some of what was found later in the video. As this was happening, Mark would try and call Braxton. All seven of us in the call told him that would be a bad idea. The biggest reason is that he was in emotion. I feel like I should wait until after the video to eat. Should I just eat it? I tripped on the keyboard! I, I can't eat here. I can't eat at this location. LS Mark, chat, what's for dinner? Chicken kebabs, potatoes, and mac and cheese are for dinner, LS Mark, okay? Now, you as someone with a base trad wife yourself, you would know. You would know how that is. Hey, what's up, Mark? Sorry for uh, sh on your wife. I would say I didn't mean it, but anyway, let's keep watching this video. Emotional distress. The group told him to text Mark instead, and we all pitched in to give advice. Not only that, there was the suspicion that Mark could just be roping him into drama alert. Braxton understood calling would be a bad idea, so he continued to text him. Eventually, Braxton would leave the group to call someone out. I'm gonna be honest, my takeaway from this so far is that Braxton is just kind of like a f up. Like, he's just kind of an idiot. He didn't know what he was doing. And I got that impression from talking to him in private as well. Um, I just kind of... He seemed like he was in over his head with this shit. I don't think that he, you know... A lot of people gave him shit, and that's fair, but my kind of impression of him was like, he's, he's just kind of in over his head. Does he deserve to be criticized? Yeah, because he's, you know, a public figure. He did some public stuff. You know, he's kind of a... He's just, he's just a dumb kid. I've met him in person. I've hung out with him, you know, I think twice now in person um, in California, and he's kind of just dumb. My girlfriend's telling me I have to show off the food. All right, we're gonna keep watching this. You guys can hear me chew as well. We're gonna have the, we're gonna have the chew mic on this one. We're gonna have the chew cam. Else, and Braxton came back even more distressed. And so Braxton was worried about keeping the video up and Crowley told him to delete it. Everyone in the call reassured him that it was his choice and it was his video. I agreed, cause it's his video and he should do what he wants with it. Braxton would unlist the video, deleting it the next day. He made a community post and most would assume that's the last bit. And so Braxton made a response video pitting the video's creation on me and saying he's sorry he ever knew me. Whew, that was a bit sudden. The day after the video released, <laughs> his reactions are so autistic. Ooh, that was a bit sudden, eh? I'm Canadian. Send a message to Braxton. I saw you delete the video. I'm proud you were brave to do so, and I want to let you know I respect your decision, even if I fully don't agree with it. At the end of the day, it is your video on your channel. I hope you're feeling better. The main reason I wanted to keep the video up was because it allowed people to come forward, and this video is a beacon of light to let people come in from the dark. Taking down the video implies everything in it is wrong, and that those who come forward won't have backup with their own situation. February 10th, he called me to say he's cutting ties with me, and he's making a video dressing everything with the script already done. I said that's fine, the next day he dumped out the video. You know, I assumed he would take some time learning the last time about rushing things. No, 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 it's gotta be out now. The weirdest thing about the video is that centered around an apology, the latter half is just about how terrible I am, no one likes me or respects me. I don't think that's an apology, I think that's just shifting blame. As mentioned before, this video has a lot of contradiction. Now this is either because Braxton's an unreliable narrator or is just a malicious liar. Braxton for some reason claims in the live stream that Sonny's done a lot of terrible things and it matters to talk about. Yet in the clearing the air video, he says only Sonny was tangentially involved. I could also see that Daft wanted to make a large portion of the video about his personal grievances with another creator, Sonny TM, who was tangentially involved with the duo. How many people had been affected, especially by Sonny, and more so Sonny than Veronica, Sunny done a lot of horrendous to a lot of people. Veronica has also done bad to other people. Has he done a lot of horrendous sh The only stuff I've seen so far is like they say he leaked nudes. I don't know the context of that. Like how did he get how did he get the how did he get the nudes? Did some chick send him nudes and then he like leaked those or was it like some, you know, sometimes some OnlyFans girls would be like, "You leaked my nudes." When it's just like from their subscription wall to OnlyFans, they like post their tits. I clarified it in the doc stream. Well, I'm not going to watch the whole doc stream right now. I guess I'd just like to know exactly what he likes to know exactly what's going on there. Why is Sonny so awful? Because to me, it just seems like, you know, kind of a hypocrite. Like, he'll call someone transphobic, and then, you know, beh behind the scenes, behind the scenes, he's like, you know, F slur, F slur, F slur, whatever. I don't, I feel like this isn't even a major contradiction either, because initially you said Sonny was, was tangentially related, because he's, he's tangentially related to Ellis Mark and Veronica in this situation. He's not the source of the cheating or whatever, but, you know, he's, he, he's still, uh, you know, if he's calling him a person in the follow-up, like, I feel like that's still valid. 
but not to quite the same extent other than with Mark himself. Or how he even claimed that the video didn't materialize until January. So I'd say I worked on it uh, starting around early December. He took a gif of a woman twerking on Twitter and posted it on the OnlyPlays Discord. Is that really it? I don't really, I kind of don't care. I kind of don't care, dude. Okay, early December, so. Yeah. Um, it didn't really materialize. And besides script, it didn't really start materializing into anything until early January. When back in December, he's already recording and editing it by himself. The biggest issue was my involvement, as Braxton first claimed I was barely involved, and in this video says I was the main driving force? So they helped the creating the questions and in the call, and that was mostly their involvement. When I would try to say as much in the script, he'd stop me and go, don't say it like that. People will deconstruct and focus on it if you do. He wanted me to use sneaky language again, so in the end, I cut them out entirely. Braxton would also claim that I forced him to put things in the video. Later in the video said he cut out the stuff I wanted in. You might know if you saw the video that the section on him doesn't really mention Daft at all, other than briefly at the very beginning. That's because I talked him out of including a six minute summary of their interaction together as it was completely unnecessary and petty compared to what I had found in relation to Dubus Gubus. So which is it, Braxton? Do you have control? Do you not have control? Because even in text, I suggested adding stuff and he said no. It's a bit confusing, you know? I'm glad to have showed the evidence before because, like, Braxton didn't. There was this weird infantilization of Braxton that he's too much of a jellyfish who couldn't have possibly made the video. It surely was someone else pulling the strings. And if you watch the follow-up video, I can see how you got to that conclusion. He doesn't mention people like Manga Cayman or really go into detail about everyone who worked on the video. His community post was quoted as saying, To be honest, throughout the video production, I was iffy about the whole thing and kept showing it to more and more people who kept encouraging it. So I thought I was doing the right thing, but I've come to see I was wrong. I try not to create an echo chamber by showing it to people who had no involvement, as well as the ones who did. But in the end, it didn't seem to help. Further going to contradictions, he mentions adding stuff about Sunny leaking nudes in the server, to which he said there wasn't substantial evidence. Besides the fact that there is, this whole video has no substantial evidence. It's just a singular JPEG. Despite Braxton saying I never manipulated him, people in the comments still believe this is the case. Remembering the- I feel like the reason why he didn't include evidence, and I'll, you know, I'll, I'll still defend him here, even though, oh, where's the proof? It's like, you know, in my opinion, anyway, he was trying to escape the drama and make it more of just like a candid video where he talks about it all, instead of making it a whole like, Daft. That's why the video is not titled Fuck Daft Fina. It's clearing the air. It's more about him and his perspective than like what Daft did wrong. He's just like, Daft did this. I don't want to touch it anymore. I don't want to be involved in this. Shit. I'm going back to making cartoon videos. I'm fucking off. So, I mean, that would be my, my, you know, defense for Braxton. I'm playing Braxton's lawyer right now, okay? I'm Braxton's lawyer, and I'd say that's what I would say. Um, he even owned everything. Yeah, I mean, he, I mean, he did. You know, he took responsibility, and then he was like, you know, also, I wasn't the only one involved. I feel like I was pushed by someone else. The drama YouTuber Hopeless Peaches, she's one of the top comments saying I won't say anything about the video, calling me a coward. She then asks why Crowe and I didn't defend the video, then says she thinks I don't need to respond publicly. Sorry to disappoint that I am responding, and you can't just rely on the video of anecdotal evidence for the whole story. Though it is weird to see how much of the video's process is misremembered. I could imagine someone encouraging Braxton to say whatever he needs to save his career and move on. When I made my Jane face reveal video, someone did help me with the script, encouraging me throughout. I was 19 at the time. The main difference between Rex and I. Okay, but within this video, I don't see a lot of evidence for what Daft is saying. It's kind of just screenshots of them talking, but there could, there could be more that went on. I mean, we don't have those Discord calls. We don't know what went on in those calls. You know what I mean? Why make that allegation when I think that you know? I think the I think the I think that Braxton and Daft have the same have the same level of evidence evidence against each other, which is you know hearsay, really. I is that took responsibility in the creation of that video. It was my choice to record, edit, and post it. Just because someone helped me doesn't mean I can pin the blame on them. The honest reason why Braxton focused on me, even with what it seems to be like 20 different people work on the video. It's because I'm an easy scapegoat. Instead of taking accountability, Braxton threw me under the bus and claimed the problem was solved. Hello, I'm the host of That Creepy Reading and someone that Braxton and Daft reached out to during the creation of this video. While I never there read the at the time of production, got to see the final video before it was unlisted, or partook in many of the calls between Braxton and Daft, I've spent this last week conducting interviews and talking with people involved at the video, looking over the exact deals of what the flying hell happened here. To start, while I believe some sneaky behavior went on behind the scenes, Smooth voice. Yeah, it is a good voice. Braxton isn't a kid anymore. Nobody's using the child scapegoat, but Daft is much, much worse. Yeah. I don't, I don't think anyone's saying he's, he's like a helpless child. If they are, that's fucking stupid, but...
teens and that the situation was horribly mismanaged and lacked any and all self-awareness. I cannot place all the blame on Daft, which is what people have been doing for a while. For starters, Braxton did show his script and video to several parties that are familiar and unfamiliar with the situation. Many of these people were not mentioned at all. I'll tell you what I told Braxton when I got into a call with him. I had been shown this video. I would not have given permission to use my story. With the way Braxton presented me, it seemed like I cut off Mark because his friend sent me a message that could be taken as a joke on Twitter. At that point in time, I actually didn't cut off Mark. The only thing I said I won't do is be in a video with him while at the same time his pal Sonny is turning me into content. I honestly did not blame Mark. But I would make the criticism that as a influencer, hanging out with someone like Sonny is a liability at best, especially since it's strange behavior has been pointed out to Mark by this point several times. No, I did not cut Mark off until- This is my thing. I feel like it's not that- it's not that bad. It's just kind of like a troll, you know? Trolls can be funny, you know what I mean? The- the worst thing he did, in my opinion, is the Dubas Goobas thing, which is bad, but like, associating with him, like, if he's your friend, like, you know, maybe Mark thinks he's started with us, but we can still associate, you know what I mean? Sunny made a second Twitter account, the third one I've seen in total, so he could send me another message with the intention of making me feel unsafe. On the exact same day, I talked about this fear and anxiety in a video. Is it a possible coincidence? Yeah, definitely. But it proves the point that Sunny doesn't care who he sends messages like this to, as it did cause a serious panic attack that time. If you want to call me a loser or whatever, fine. But these kinds of messages are just not okay in any circumstances, especially when you're ban evading to send them. I had to deal with low tier God going through Facebook to find my address and roast material in a live stream with over a thousand followers. On over. Discord, there's this guy who sends me creepy death threats roughly every two weeks. And crap like this, this lives in my head rent free. So to my surprise, despite Sonny being banned on Twitter a minimum of three it. times, Mark potato. still takes it. the time to follow each and every one of these accounts. I'm getting messages like it. this and seeing Mark it's right there supporting... Hmm. I mean, maybe I'm hallucinating, but I'm still watching the video guys. No, don't you worry. I'm looking for chicken on the ground. I'm looking for the floor chicken, <laughs> but I'm still watching the video. I mean, if it really gave that creepy reading like a panic attack, then I mean, I would, you know, definitely ignore this guy too. But you know, maybe I wouldn't be friends with Mark after that, but it was a potato. I don't know if I think it was a piece of chicken, but I don't even know. Yeah, you go on the floor. You enjoy being down there on the floor where you belong on your knees on the floor. I mean, let's keep watching this video. Promoting and generally silently condoning his actions. I then saw some screenshots that shows Mark is willing to leak DMs to Sonny and his partner for the express purposes of like making fun of and sh on people that at the time he called his friends. Mark really just hates me or Daft or whoever. I would rather like just know instead of like wasting my time with this high school drama. Like, man, just point and laugh from a distance and stop trying to get involved with the personal lives of people that you genuinely don't care about. Yeah, I mean, you know, I get Mark is not a uh, kind of drama guy, you know, so he, he's kind of out of this realm. Probably not a good idea to like be friendly with someone publicly and in DMs and then privately, you know, be in like calls where you're like on them or making fun of their art. I will say, you know, Daft's uh, art was not that good, but I wasn't, you know, on him for it in DMs. I just looked at it and I was like, oh, that's kind of bad. Um, yeah, I was under the impression that Mark and uh, Daft were like good, good pals for a while. So I'm kind of surprised that he was like on his cartoon in DMs or something. I don't think there's anything on the floor. Yeah, I was going to say, are you sure you dropped something? Well, I dropped pota a potato, but I picked it up and I ate it. Well, I thought it was two things. I know it's valuable. Come here. I'm not doing that. Well then, you're not getting a kiss, sorry. You gotta do it in front of the fans, okay? I can't use you for content. Mark has been warned. I gave him a chance to do the right thing after the first time that this happened, and then the second time, I heard a response you can for be good friends why he ignored me. Criticize their stuff. Yeah, I feel like you should criticize it to their face, though. Not like talking them like a little schoolgirl behind the scenes, you know? That's what I would say about that. But I'm just going to tell this to Mark in case he's watching this. If that really is your excuse, I have no business going anywhere near your toxic group of friends. And I don't want you in my life at all. It's a horrible feeling not knowing where you stand with someone, especially in this business. And Daft has been upfront with me, sharing screens, DMs, and pretty much anything I could ask for and to search for what actually happened. So the question...
question remains, what actually did happen here? How did something this bad make it onto the screen? Well, the from my perspective, Braxton was wronged by Veronica point blank, and Daft was having issues with Sonny, while Mark was passively endorsing him and helping him mess up him behind the scenes. When you have two people that are so biased against someone, and you also cannot trust that person, for obvious reasons. Not only was a intervention a bad idea, if anything, it only caused more harm to the situation. Daft should have just cut Mark off after he found out that Veronica was married to him. I understand the naive belief that you could save someone from a toxic relationship, but that's just not how the real world works. But I don't blame the line of reasoning. At the same time, I also agree with Braxton that he should cut Daft out of his life. Those two are not a good mix and their personality types are just directly incompatible. I will say I appreciate that, you know, that creepy reading was more in the middle of it. And um, Daft included this in the video where he, he has more of a middle of the road take instead of being totally on Daft's side. You know, I appreciate that. Yeah, I think Braxton, Braxton and Daft probably shouldn't be talking. I still maintain, I don't know, maybe I'm just going off of bad information. But from what I've been told, from what I've been, you know, listen, the base department called me up. They filled me in. And my impression that I got, and I, honestly, my impression as soon as I saw the video as well, before I had talked to anyone privately, was that um, Daft had played a huge role in the video. As soon as I was watching, watching Braxton's vid and they showed like who was in the call, I saw the Daft was there. I was like, this is a Daft Pina video. I mean, the thumbnail itself looked like one of his videos. So, you know, but was it like, I wasn't there. I wasn't there behind the scenes. So it's hard to say. I'm leaning more to Braxton's interpretation of events, but uh... sometimes that's just how life works. But what people fail to understand that for two people on the internet, it's okay that they don't like each other, especially when those certain flaws just cannot be overcome. At the same time, the idea that Daft rushed a video, ma manipulated Braxton into making it as bad as it is, if Braxton never talked to Daft, this never would have happened, is also simply Break out the ivermectin. insane to me. There are two points during this production in my eyes that redeem Daft for his part. Daft told Braxton to show the video to everyone involved before the video launched. Had I been shown this, I would have had clear objections to the first half of the video due to personally learning from the pro Jared situation. Yeah, that's the thing about it. It's like Braxton showed people it, but he didn't, I, I didn't even have the chance to watch it. Honestly, maybe I wouldn't have watched it. Maybe I would have blown him off because sometimes people send me videos and I just don't have the time to watch it. Um, you know, I feel like you should have gotten more people's opinion on this from the outside of drama rather than just Pina or whatever. And by having a ounce of self-awareness. If I had a chance to see this video and voice my criticisms, then Braxton uploaded it anyway with full support of Daft telling him not to da destroy it or whatever, me and Daft would no longer be friends. But they should make Coke with HRT in it. I'm sure they do. If you're, you're Canadian, Boblex, I'm sure they sell that at the fucking grocery store, dude. Thank you for my Joe Biden ice cream. Appreciate it. Guys, we got the Joe Biden ice cream. Listen, guys, I know you want me to react to the video, but obviously it's more important that you watch me eat, that you watch me eat this uh, ice cream sandwich. We don't actually live in that world, so you can only speculate on what would have happened had I been involved. The second point at which this could have been entirely... Yeah, I agree, I agree with you on that, that creepy reading. More more people should have been involved in seeing this before it was posted. It seems like they were in a big rush, rush to post it because they were stressed out about it, but I think that uh, I need to have more more time, more more people review it. Maybe never would have come out if more people saw it, you know? ...avoided is the night of the upload. Daft and Crowey told Braxton the potential consequences of uploading a project like this. Not only were there issues that he had with the video that Braxton chose to upload, Daft apparently said there was no reason why it needed to be released that day that they could watch it with fresh eyes later and figure something out. Braxton admits that he was- The thing is, I just don't know if he said that. I don't know, I don't know if he really said it was, it was in a call, so I have no idea. Tired and due to declining mental health, he felt the need to get it out there. And I feel like that's important to understand when you're trying to assign blame because yeah, I get it. Something like this is entirely emotionally draining and I don't entirely blame him for that. However, Braxton was also the project manager and it's his responsibility to get the right people to help him and make sure that the video is acceptable. Braxton edited the video and ultimately chose how things were framed if they were framed at all. Decisions behind the scenes were sneaky and honestly not the way to do things, but that would not have mattered had Braxton waited and did the bare minimum, which would include showing people that contributed to the video. While I do believe that both Braxton and Daft had noble intentions that were skewed by honestly rancid behavior from Mark's end, I ultimately have an issue with the fact that 
I feel like Braxton in both of his rushed videos took accountability. He accuses Daft of being sneaky, can't back it up with anything he says as they happened in Discord calls that I was not a part of and can get no context from. The docs were deleted, which means I can't confirm the editing history either. That and I found out that Manga Kamen, someone who did review the script, was not even given the evidence that he would need to understand what the hell he was reading or to know if it was out of line or not. Point is, a bunch of socially unaware people looked and- I guess I just, like, once again, I guess it's just kind of going off of trust if you trust Daft, people who supposedly heard what he said in the call about, oh, well, you know, I said not uploaded that day, I said not uploaded that day, or whether you trust, um, you know, Braxton, who in my opinion, I don't know, Braxton has a cleaner track record on YouTube as far as uh, honesty and not kind of duplicitous. Um, maybe it's cringe of me at this point to take Braxton's side. I don't know. I just feel like, I guess we'll just keep watching to see more of it. One thing that is true is that, yeah, these people are all f***ing socially I'm not, tr I'm not trying to claim it to be the suave, you know, social butterfly or anything, because I'm, I'm definitely kind of a weirdo. But the fact that this even got this far is shocking to me and just kind of, to me, shows that the people they're calling out are, don't, don't get me wrong, social freaks and like, like they're like, uh, anti, anti-social, I would say. These guys are like, you know, not social. They're like Whereas like Veronica is like kind of this like mess maker. So I don't know. I mean, you can probably tell that from watching their videos. You know, Braxton, Braxton and, and uh, Daphne are definitely a little, little, you know, they're autistic. Okay. They're, they're f***ing autistic. I, I don't know if either of them actually have autism, but you know what I mean when I say that. And approve the script. I don't know how that's what happened. The only call I was there for was when they talked to Goobis about his story. And from my perspective, Daft and Braxton handled that call respect. I even said that Braxton should focus more on Sonny because out of everyone in that friend group, Sonny is the most objectively toxic bad person for the YouTube community. However, at the time, he wanted to focus on Veronica and Mark, and I assumed that he had a good reason. I was fucking wrong. That said, I did talk to Braxton, and while I do have reservations, and I'm still kind of mad that he didn't take accountability for the wrongs he personally did to me, he's also no longer doing drama, and he's very young. I can't blame him for making mistakes like this as a project lead since, you know, it's kind of a learn-as-you-go kind of thing. I'm fortunate enough, or unfortunate enough, to have been doing this since I was literally 14 professionally. So, when really? I made my wow. mistakes, it was- I didn't know that on a lot smaller of a scale, and I had a chance to learn. Daft should have ran away when he saw the first version of the script, but, you know, hindsight's like 2020, and I've also spoken to Daft about that, and we're in agreement. I don't get to see the world where I could have stopped this, or even had some sort of impact, or even tried. I was left out of the loop, and the only one who advocated for me was Daft. Unfortunately, a undercooked, honestly gross video with a few good parts is what made it out there, with the worst of Daft's manipulation being unable to be verified, as the change logs for the docs and the various calls I was not privy to are not public. That said, I don't- All right, this is a little long. I'm gonna skip to a uh, part past that creepy readings account. We're gonna watch Veronica's stalking. Sure, keep using that image that makes me look like White Megamind to prove how mature you are. If I blame anyone, it's the dude shielding a cyberstalker who honestly does not deserve to be on this platform. Hey, that's just my take. I mean, I'm biased too, as Sonny's been cyberstalking me. Wish you luck. We haven't actually talked about Mick, apart from just saying his name, so... I will ooh. say, I think that uh, cyberstalking is probably the wrong tier. Maybe I'm nipping a little bit. Seems more like cyber trolling. You got... You got Controlled that creepy reading. You got owned. We'll keep watching. It's kind of a small. You know, it doesn't really matter. Just memes, okay? Meme here and there. Was he and how was he involved in Braxton's video? Mick, better known as Rice Pirate, is a voice actor known for his works in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Hesman Hotel, and even Ruby. As for his involvement in the video, it was extremely little. All information from him was asked via close contact of his. In fact, the tweet that Crowley asked Braxton to take out to include his name. That's how he became part of this because of Braxton's mistake. But what about these two videos? Veronica made hers in response to Braxton video and rice part made his in response to this thumbnail is so i can't get over how narcissistic this thumbnail is or like the people like reaching for her the way she drew herself is just uh it's too much it's too much veronica's however i can't stress this enough veronica would have been better off never releasing a video with nearly all the comments on veronica's video just being about how awful she is that's true it's very real i don't i don't know why she even felt the need to clear the air or something because it just kind of made her look worse and why she's really telling us these things mark would be showing support of her for the video by retweeting it but judging 
judging by the like to dislike ratio, this is a really negatively disliked video. I don't see that I have more dislikes than that. That's not as many as I thought. Interesting detail about the video is that it's probably been in the works for quite a while. Looking to Veronica's Patreon, a sketch of the thumbnail was dated back in January 9th. So if she had been working on this for quite a while, mm. it seems that she always wanted to talk about this sort of stuff. Though as noted by her Twitch, she has no issue wearing people's dirty laundry before then. Often I mean, it's evidence she was drawing it at least. She was acting it out through her art. Maybe it's not evidence that that was gonna be the thumbnail yet. I feel like she wasn't gonna gonna make this video until uh, until Braxton's video came out. Honestly, if I had to guess, Sunny TM says any Sunny heads. I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say. Um, thumbnail looks like a fetish thing. It does. It looks like a very like weird. It's like narcissistic. It's like oh, they're all reaching for me and I'm just so sexy. I'm just so sexy. And they're all like reaching for her. Like one's like grabbing her arm. One's like grabbing her neck. Pulling me in different directions. It's like, no, you just, you need to keep your fucking pussy shut. Yo pussy loose, girl! Girl, yo, girl, why your pussy so loose? What, why your pussy fit so many dicks? Girl, why your, why your pussy hanging out? Put it back inside! You too old to have your pussy out. Why your pussy open? What's that train wrecks, uh, what's that train wrecks clip? Train wrecks, uh, speech. Um, no, this is not it. This one, speech that got him banned. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is this is the most the most base speech of all time. At the end of the day, what matters at the end of the day is staying true. At the end of the day, what matters is remembering these mother these fake fks, these girls that rejected us, these girls that come back into our streaming community with the same goddamn stories, with the same goddamn fing pity sh with their titties out, with their pants out, with their goddamn mother yoga pants on, with their is squatting, with their mother in their faces asking for donations donation goals of fucking bullshit sub fucking goals and sub shit and sub suckers mother snapchats and instagrams and facebooks for sale their is open using people manipulating people they're open. the goddamn light i am the god i am the light. goddamn savior i am the goddamn savior no more no more say no more, say no more. Goddamn using women i am the leader i am the leader from now on, from now we on, we will not give you money. We will not give from you money. From now on, we will not sub to we you. We will not sub from to you. From now on, we will do nothing unless you prove, prove to me. us it that is it is not an act. At the end of the day, end of the day, end of the day, <laughs> put it on a pedestal, put it where it belongs, on the, on the f couch, couch and, and on, on the, the ground. Blow that a thing that this is all the streaming community now. IRL are coming for you. Who the world are coming, coming for you? Pop G are coming, coming for you. League of Legends are coming, coming for you. Every goddamn game I'm coming for you. Destiny 2, f you, I'm coming for you. 5k viewers, f 1k viewers, f 10k viewers, f that. 20k viewers, f that. Immature, f 30k <laughs> amateur, 40k so base. 60k preschool, 70k f middle school, 100k I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm gonna change the f World. I'm gonna lead you with me. I'm gonna lead you. I'm gonna lead you to the glory of me. and me. Guys, my girlfriend just texted me and said I have to stop yelling. <laughs> ah! All right, we're gonna keep watching the video now. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, guys, we're gonna keep watching the video. We're gonna keep watching. Listen, Detour, keep your pussy shut, girl. Let's keep watching. The scene talking exes that many would assume to be Chris. So we go outside, and he's like, I love you so much. I made a huge mistake. I'm gonna cut her off. I'm gonna cut her off. And I'm just sitting there, like, with my cigarette, because he he hated that I smoked. So I, was, I just made sure anytime I just always had my cigarette out, just looking at him. And uh, I was, yeah, he fing cried. Like a. The guys, I'm gonna be honest. <sighs> I'm gonna be honest, I've got my Newports on me. You know I love my Newports chat. You know I love my Newports chat. Can I go to my, uh, my Instagram? <laughs> you guys know I, I like my aesthetic pictures of the Newports, guys. Listen, I have my Newports on me. My Newports, as the Cheeto says, I'm not giving one to Veronica, okay? She can't smoke up with me. It's over. It's over for you, Veronica. Tone is vindictive and revengeful. I'm to even use the- We only share our Newports with the based one. Shut your p The smoke gun go in your p How you smoking? The smoke gun go in your p It's gonna fill up your p you put dick in there. Nope. 
Not smoke. The worst photos of people she talks about. The video is riddled by screenshots that are either blurred, cropped, or look like she just made up. Just does a double standard to make others look worse. To give a too long didn't read, Veronica cheated on a bunch of people, starting with Oni and G. After dumping him, she went with Mark, dumped him a few times, and got with Mick. They broke up once and got back with Mark. She cheated on Mark, and they got married the same year. To give the double standards, we'll start with Chris. At the time yeah. of them dating, he had been talking to an ex, yeah. not anything romantic, someone who's very sick. It's was awesome. the person they fundraise money for because they had Lyme's disease. Franca told him to stop talking to her. This is a direct parallel to her exes, as whenever she would dump a date, she would keep making Mark around for some reason. That I don't get the kind of love and affection that that's just all I really wanted. And then to also always have to feel that I'm in a competition with somebody else, like this other she kept around. At times, Mark would come to her crying, drinking himself to quell the sadness. He even opted to use Mick's voiceover move to appear around Veronica while she was dating. <sighs> Dude, Mark, what did you get yourself into, buddy? What it, what did you do? <laughs> this is, uh, guys, another reference, okay? This is that Sam Cl Sam Hyde clip where he's like, you f***ed up so good. You f***ed up so good. Sam Hyde, what is it? It's like how to ruin your life. Is that it? You know, you guys know what I'm talking about? Actually, okay, I have it in my DMs with Null. Let me find it because I have it in my, uh... He sent it to me the other day. I've seen this so many times, though. This is so real. Oh, okay. The number one way to ruin your life fast, Sam Hyde. Guys, listen, I promise this is funny. I promise this is funny. We gotta break this up. Here we go. Immediate, fast, fast. F your life up fast. F your life up so blazingly quick. You fuck everything up so good. How'd you fuck up so good? Really, how'd you do that? How'd you up good? How'd you do that? up good how'd you fuck up so good mark how'd you how, ah you fucked up so good bonus meme wrath incognito with the 20 canadian says ls mark has been brainwashed into thinking it's okay for his girlfriend to sleep around can you please be a father figure to him he needs one who's ls mark I'm looking it up right now i think i know who that is yeah you can't you can't ever have that in your you just can't do that that type of uh even even one little bit of that sort of attitude will destroy will destroy you. It will totally Oh, this guy. Nah, it's over for this guy, man. Yeah, he's done. Nah, this is can the guy. Tell who, just from the thumbnail art. Yeah, this is the guy who, <laughs> I can like, tell just from the thumbnail art. He's like a PNG tuber who makes videos about children's TV shows that aired fifteen years ago. Great. It's over. Sorry, Ellis Mark. Better look next time. Boom! Sorry, LS Mark. Better luck next time. Listen, guys, in all seriousness, in all seriousness, shout out to LS Mark, okay? He did f up good, but hope he figures this shit out, okay? Hope he figures it out. Hope he, he gets out of this situation. Guys, we still got 25 minutes left in this excellent video. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. We're not done. We're gonna keep going. To which Mark asked them to stop being affectionate when around him. Mark's drinking is on par with us, and he's finding it harder to avoid these emotions, resulting in situations at Mick's house where he would come to me crying, making it clear that he was unhappy. Smokey sends Mark a message telling him that if he keeps this up, that he would lose me forever, which was true. Things were getting bad between us, and I couldn't keep listening to how much I hurt him and help him with the same hurt. From this point, things get better between Mark and I. He had found talking to friends other than me, such as Strawberry Mage and Sunny, would help him feel better. And because of this, our friendship started to become healthier. I can't believe she just said, yeah, the moment Mark stopped talking to me, he became way happier than say, I'm gonna be friends with him again because he stopped crying at me. Why would you do- That's true. That's a good, th listen. Most, most astute social observation by Daft Pina of all time. Not even kidding. Tell him to go home. The video would eventually shift focus to Braxton's video, saying I bamboozled him into making it. She goes on to say that everyone hates- That creepy reading says, I've gained a lot of respect for Tom Dark. I used to know him as the kid with the Columbine pick on Twitter. You remember that? Interesting. Dude's actually got a head on his shoulders. Thanks for your takes. No problem, buddy. Hope you enjoy the stream. Hope you enjoy the stream. Mean thinks I'm a big old meanie dum-dum that no one respects. Veronica says that I dock someone, and besides leaving out that this person catfished a minor for nudes, but she proceeds to show the same image I made in the tweets <clears throat> with no additional edits. Now, I made a whole video about Tina Fate if you want to go into that, but if you want to claim this is a docs, then Veronica did it too. Veronica then brings up two videos I made six years ago, the Jade and Chewy Panda one, saying that I shouldn't tell people to stop drawing when I make art like this. Number one, I regret making those videos, and I'm thankful to a Apologize to Chewy Panda IRL. It's never good to discourage artists as everyone's on their own different levels of improvement. Number two, well, what is wrong with it? Like, I would have appreciated a critique on how to fix it. The art, the art is rough. 
The art is rough. I want to make better things, but instead you just went. <laughs> the rat. The rat is funny. This is bad, and let people see what you Doug. meant. She then ends the video calling. <laughs> he zoomed in on the rat. I mean, terrible. And saying that she's the most grown from this. I wouldn't be the person I am today. And really, the only person here out of us four who has taken accountability is me. It's weird that she pulls things from six years ago and acts as if it happened yesterday, as if nothing changed in the. Yeah, that is. That is. Here's for me, but sure, keep using that image that makes me. Why would she even call it anyone? Like you're not, you you know, you're not in any space to do that. Just because you admit you did something bad doesn't mean you get to automatically be like, now you are bad for the same thing that I did and much less worse. Like no, it just looks stupid. Like white mega mind to prove how much her you are. Now this was white a mega mind, wigger mind. Shout out wigger mind in chat, guys. Daft Pina is now known. Hold up, we gotta take another break. We gotta take another break. I'm sorry. This is essential, essential research we're doing here. Okay, this is essential ladies and gentlemen wigger mind i love a good wigger mind video here and there who doesn't love wigger mind i think wigger mind his branding doesn't really make sense why is his at daft pina why is his banner say daft pina i mean his name is clearly wigger mind on youtube so I don't, I don't know what's going on there but anyhow a heavily condensed version of the video but a lot of it is nonsense high school drama though i do suggest watching the video as it's better than any video i could have made to talk about veronica like oh whew. but as for whew, Oh, whew. no more of this. No, listen, Daphina. Friend to friend, based Groiper to base Groiper. Red pilled agent of Keck to red pilled agent of Keck. We gotta stop with the the weird reactions, okay? For red flags, the biggest one would be shit talking. Start off with me in the video. She claims the reason why I hate her is because she called me a and racial slurs. Real reason was already mentioned before in the video. She did this while trying to be my friend. Even when trying to catch up with me, she was immediately leaking my DMs to strangers. The further talk. In fact, she would do this to his animators as well. Rebecca, an animator on Mark's pilot, was being on by Veronica. Within the video, she said she did fix stuff she made, but also says, yeah, she did talk. You want to know what I did? What crime I committed? I would talk to my friends in a private DM that I didn't like how this artist would draw hands and certain features in their personal artwork. I want to make it clear that anytime that this was done on something that Mark was paying them for, I always chimed in and gave my notes and in multiple occasions redrew the hands and poses myself. It's Even just so insane. This person is 28. They sound like they're 12. 16 at oldest, I would say, dude. I just, you're, you're like an adult professional artist, like how people draw hands. <laughs> um but yeah 28 years old it's too late you know she's saying she's changed hopefully she's changed but uh i think i think she's got to go bro you know 20 28 is a little too old for your like you're like epiphany about being a person you know like my mom was like 23 when i was born you're 28 you're doing this man she's on the couch old retirement home age those eggs are drying up ladies and gentlemen even publicly telling them that i would prefer their old designs over their new ones when they would ask for feedback this isn't a case of me telling somebody that i love their art and the way that they draw hands and then saying the opposite behind their back talking yes so she confirmed she was talking behind the animators back to multiple people about how bad their art was further confirming it was sh talking but ho hold on only on paid work she'd tell them what to correct i'm glad whenever she asked for critiques publicly you were there to help but you just mentioned moments before about how you're discussing how bad her personal art is to multiple people that's sh now, I knew about this before the video when I talked with Rebecca about it because she needed to know. It's disrespectful to Mark's hardworking artists. She never reflects not even once that the sh talking is not only bad, Veronica would also talk Chris so much on stream as well as privately that it warped Mick's perception of him. Mick had been messaging me earlier that day, telling me that he looks forward to running into a particular person there, obviously referring to Chris O'Neill. I joke with him saying that it would be funny if we could both clothesline him. This was common between us. Like I said, we both bonded over the mutual disdain for Chris and often made jokes at his expense. A lot of the feelings that Mick had towards Chris was due in part to his ex planting the seeds in his head. But in reality, the beef could have been sorted if the two talked and belonged to Veronica long ago. I should mention that this was somebody who was extremely sick and this was somebody who was also very important to him. So cutting them off made Chris feel worse. All right, this is the last time. I was like, you need to cut that off never cut her off we continued the relationship for like eight more months never cut her off gave me excuses each time and always said oh, it's really hard for me it's hard for me to cut her off you know i've known her for a long time is she doing like an ls mark impression <laughs> but i love her it was only like five guys <sighs> just a mess out there in los angeles right now i'm just like nope when i mentioned that mick filled in a lot of gaps taking a step back you start to see the gaps or actually gaping plot holes please let us archive this tom please i mean you can post it i'm gonna post a vod to my channel definitely just kind of tied up with a bunch of other videos right now but i'll definitely be posting this
Mick said that Veronica was telling the truth, and he's not refuting it, rather adding on to it. Veronica said that Mick was pressuring her to dump Chris. This is true. Also, everyone in the Fred group said this, not only to Veronica, but also Chris himself. You see, the former couple had been together for about three and a half years, and they kept breaking things off, only to get back together again. Another case was Mick sending Veronica ciggies when she was in Ireland. This is true. She left out the reason why. She asked for them. She brought up me mailing her cigarettes to Ireland. Dude, dude, you hit me up. You were so mad about those cigarettes because I think it was close to the beginning of your trip or, or early-ish on and you were jonesing. You weren't going to be able to get the brand that you like there. And so you asked me to send them. Another case was Mick bringing Veronica on his family boat to hang out. Veronica mentions this as well as the cigarettes to prove that Mick because if she smokes, if she smokes Newports, do we have to forgive her? I don't know. I feel like she doesn't. I feel like she smokes something girly, but I like the black guy cigarettes personally. I don't know. Girly. No, they're not. The only girls I know who smoke smoke Newports. That's fake. Don't say that. I'm on. You're gonna. You're embarrassing me. Don't worry, guys. I'll I'll, I'll execute her in the middle of the living room after stream. Mick is obsessed with her, and that it's a mostly one-sided love relationship. However, for that, Veronica invited Mick to Mexico to visit her family, and so he can do research for an animation. A little bit before the boat trip, she'd invited me to Mexico with her family, uh, and presented it as a good opportunity to hang out and to also do some research for Blood Sun, which. You know, based on the location, which I'm not gonna say, uh, yeah, it would have been great. It would have been really cool. Um, it was at a gathering and yeah, I did give her more attention because at that time we'd been talking a lot. Uh, she'd been helping me out with some issues with my ex. But lastly, a big thing is drinking. Veronica and Mick are coming alcoholics. In her video, she said that Mick pressured her to drink. That's true. Veronica also pressured him to drink too. It was a mutual pressure due to the shrinking friend group. Their alcoholism affected many people and pushed them away from others. So they found solace in each other to drink. When we partied, we partied hard. You know, for two people who drink way too much, we definitely enabled each other. We were drinking buddies. She'd invite me out, I'd invite her out. And the more people distanced themselves, the more isolated we got, the more we hung out, the more I shared with her, the more I trusted her. And it felt mutual, it felt real, it felt special. She very quickly became my best and closest friend. What pissed her off, pissed me off. What she was interested in, I wanted to check out. It must be so weird. I've never had like a public drama like this. Ironically, the last drama I had that was similar to this involving LS Mark where the N word DMs were leaked. He didn't leak the DMs. Someone else that was in a chat we were in leaked it to D'Angelo Wallace. Keep in mind, the black person in question that was in that chat didn't even leak it. It was like a white chick. That was the last time I've had. And it, it wasn't like my best friends. It was just like a friend group I had on Discord. I can't imagine like anyone I'm like, I haven't had like a falling out, you know, in like a long, long time. Like since I was like 15, I haven't like a falling out. So it's hard and it's hard for me to imagine like this happening more. You know what I mean? Like having a falling out at like 40 is just very, I'm sure it happens, but it's a strange concept for me to understand. You know, I guess people have followers for their entire life. It's just kind of, especially like it's made like public drama through like videos. Like she listened and she cared. Hearing that Veronica left out a lot of details makes it for need talk are some great big waving red flags. If not for Mick, we wouldn't have gotten the full story, and I was writing my assessment three years ago to stop being friends with her. Mick concludes his video by apologizing to those involved and saying he's working on being sober. I wish him the best. So to recap, Veronica talks to you even if you're friends. She leaks stuff, doesn't set boundaries, and gets mad at you for overstepping them, and when retelling the story, she leaves out details. Look, I don't think you- Get her loose. Close your we're fairly or fully represented in the video calling you out because I know that there's a lot of good too. I became best friends with and infatuated by some of those aspects, but I also know that when you want to hurt someone, you can go hard. Hey, I'm Crowey, and I make content on Twitter and YouTube. You may have heard of me from the Just Stop video, Ellis Mark Dangers and Dating, where I was in a call with Daft Pina and Just Stop Braxton when they called Mark. I was also present for a bit of the production of that video. I wanted to give my perspective and experience from that time. I wasn't there for a lot of its production, but in okay, I don't care what this guy says. I'm going to watch the, the conclusion or whatever. Now, leaking art projects is a no-go in the community. With money involved, it can be a lost business opportunity, and bad press can make people turn away from the production before it releases. Back in 2022, I found out someone leaked some of Mark's pilot animatic, so I told him, and he thanked me for doing so. The video would later be taken down, seemingly just being on accident, from someone who worked on the pilot. Not only would Mark let Sonny off with a slap on the wrist, but he himself was leaking my stuff in a server called Goon Squad. But that's just one server. I've spoken with many former and current friends of Mark that led me to various secret servers, where they engage in sh 
talking to their friends. These servers would get abandoned after they lose or gain a friend. Some of them spoke with me, and this video doesn't scratch the surface of what they engage in. But I must mention these people came forward after Braxton's video released. This is all new info. What's up with the, like, private sh talking Discord? I wasn't invited to any of these. Hey! Look, guys, I, you know, I get I get trash talk is funny. I mean, I'm a, I'm a commentary drama YouTuber, so I don't have a lot of a lot of room to speak. But, you know, generally speaking like this, and I know this happens because I've seen this happen with like other people I've known. Like this like series of like you move private discord to private discord to like talk about other people. Like uh, just focus on like making videos and like art or something. Like focus on productive things. I know this sounds ironic coming from me, but, you know, I do have a pretty high output. So I feel somewhat... Uh, justified in talking about this focus on literally anything else instead of like sitting in a private server with like some losers guys he drew hands weird who fucking cares okay also add me to the goon squad i need to be added there right now obviously i'm feeling pretty left out i'm feeling kind of um you know i'm, I'm feeling like you guys don't really like me veronica you know you and i go way back we used to you know smoke new ports together yo loose it open but you know we used to hang out back in the day you know back in college and stuff you know wait way back write essays together that kind of thing don't tell mark we used to hang out and write essays together i just wish that um you know i would, I would get get added to the, the talk server so i can sh talk uh <clears throat> daft pina and uh just tuning in what's the verdict daft pina insane uses discord's primary resource i don't think he's insane i think he's kind of socially inept i don't think he's he's as much of a evil manipulator as we thought wavy web surf okay is, is the public narrative told i don't think he's that evil but I think he is like kind of weird, kind of conniving. This whole situation is weird. It didn't need to happen. You know, I think that I think that maybe he deserves more blame than he's letting on in this video, but less than Braxton said in his video. Somewhere in the middle. No, you're definitely right. He, he definitely is a bit of a silly Billy. Definitely a bit of a silly Billy, big guy. One of the servers I was shown included Sir Pela's girlfriend. If you remember Sir Pela's girlfriend, she was the one trying to attack Goobus on the same points that Sunny made, and everyone refutes. But this Discord is the epitome of everything Veronica and Sunny. It's a place to troll and talk anyone they like, far from public eye. The day of talking to Veronica in Twitter DMs was the same day she leaked them in the chat, as mentioned earlier in the video. Veronica Once again with the age thing, I mean, I'm gonna bring up the age thing again. I guess she's saying that she's like a different person now or something, but uh, you're too old, man. You're too old for this. You're like 30. You should be raising babies, not talking on fucking Discord. You're 30, okay? Your eggs. I just spit all over my microphone. Popping noise. Eggs, gone. The sound of your eggs going. They're all gone now. You spend your time on Discord. Eggs, gone. Gone. Eggs, gone. Okay? Listen. Now listen here, Veronica. I know you've been on people on Discord all day, but I have to say, you gotta stop, okay? I had enough. No more. Guys, we're moving past this, past the alcoholism. We're sticking with cigarettes because they make you stronger. And, uh, get your shut. Zip up. Zip your Egg's gone. Mark to get his attention to see my leaked DM. February 1st, 2021, I showed Mark the concept art for my pilot. He would leak it to the server the same day I sent it to him. He'd also do this months later, October 7th, 2021, leaking more stuff a month after I sent it. Kind of an asshole, oh, jeez. When I talked about my pilot in a video, Mark posted it on the server, with Sunny in the chat saying, God, he's so bad at evil chat. Art. Mark asked Sunny to join a call. In 2022, Mark would post about my Momocon trip, showing every update tweet we made, stalking our every move to make fun of. To say I feel devastated and embarrassed seeing someone claim to be my friend only to leak my cartoon, as well as make fun of it, would be an understatement. Mixing with Veronica making fun of his animator Zar. I mean, whatever you think about Daft Pina, that probably reflects badly on Mark. Everyone does some level of sh talking, but it is a little much to be like, actually his friend or whatever privately and then maybe daft is misreading his friendship with it with this guy you know that could be part of it it's, it's kind of it's 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 like it's like school girls no more okay zip your mouth and zip your girl Art, i'd zip be scared everything. to work with him the courtesy of me telling a friend his stuff got linked was apparently something he was fine doing to me this whole time and knowing their friend group of how much these things leak i don't doubt it was spread elsewhere before my video released knowing it was sent in a place called evil talk i can't imagine anything there was positive but it wouldn't be me that they would just talk about we'd also see sunny Doing the exposed video on the Pina voice is hilarious. Yeah, true. <laughs> he never stops, okay? The grind don't stop for Daft Pina. Leaking DMs of Veronica calling Smokey a pathetic bitch, and him also leaking DMs and now to Defyware saying the N-word. However, the biggest link would that be of Chris. Harley said he genuinely talks like that. Shocked me when I spoke to him. Yeah, he does. It's it's gotten less bad over the years, but he does talk like that. Veronica first leaked the message that Sunny sent to her, then Sunny leaked the whole thing, meaning that Sunny sent it to her first and the group chat for everyone to see. After months of not talking, the two would catch up. Sunny appreciated reaching out. Chris said a big reason for distancing was that people wanted to f with Sunny, because he'd do things to make people angry. It started to affect Chris. He mentioned Sunny's abusive power as a Discord mod on the server, and even noted him leaking a girl's OnlyFans nudes and prompted. He continues to say there are patterns of drama and malice from Sunny that led them to stop being friends. Sunny will continue to prove him right by leaking their DMs to Chris's ex, as well as making videos attacking people and sending- 
weird creepy DMs of them. Wait, did he get on the bad YouTube content account? Hold up. And even noted him leaking a girl's OnlyFans nudes and prompted. He continued- Okay, so that's not- they said he leaked revenge or he leaked- he didn't- it was an OnlyFans chick. I guess it was unprompted, but like, who cares, man, you know? He used to say there were patterns of drama and malice from Sonny that led them to stop being friends. Sonny would continue to prove him right by leaking their DMs to Chris's ex, as well as making videos attacking- Corey Kenshin Privilege Crybaby people what's wrong with making videos attacking people that's that's our whole thing you know i sympathize with sunny sunny got posted on the bad youtube content account i too have been wronged by this account and for that reason me and sunny are bonded for life we're we're you know obviously we're we're, we're ethnically bonded to begin with but even beyond that i think i think we're bonded because you know we've both been wronged by the same clout chasing loser hack twitter account and for that reason me and him sunny i shake your hand okay i shake sunny tm's hand sunny are you still in chat i shake your hand good sir i salute you i respect you dealing with the onslaught bonded in weight no comment um we're gonna keep watching we're gonna keep watching we're almost done with the video guys and then we're gonna call that creepy reading sending weird creepy dms to them the messages between chris and sunny were from november 29th 2022 sunny would immediately leak dms the same day into evil chat in saying all that mark actively supports him promoting his main channel having him podcasts and even has talking server with him. Mark has yet to publicly comment on Sonny's actions, but can be seen on Twitter following him every time he makes a new account because he keeps ban evading because of stuff like this. So of all this, Mark either pretend to be my friend to mug me for laughs, or he genuinely thinks this is what friends do. Be friendly with them in public, but privately leak their stuff, make fun of them, and hang around people who already hate them. Even in this screenshot, you can see Sonny leaking DMs of me, talking about not roping me into calls with Veronica. So it was something he did on purpose to troll me, and Mark knew the whole time. Whenever I talk to Mark about situations I'm in, looking back, how could I actually know if he's giving me advice? Or just thinking of ways to troll me to impress his friends. If there's anything to learn from this, it's picking your battles, and Ellis Mark is one I should have abandoned a long time ago. From this point forward, I won't be assisting or helping anyone with their personal dramas anymore, or even making investigative videos. Well, I'm glad. I guess we'll is about the last people few like I did before. <clears throat> I want to move on, and despite the situation ending terribly, I'm glad it happened so I can move on from the people I once called friends. Keep on drawing, and don't forget to have a good day. Well, you know what? It kind of seems like the situation's over then if he's done with it. I doubt we're going to see a big response from Veronica or uh, Mark or something like that. I, 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 I don't see Ellis Mark doing a drama video about this. I could be wrong, but, you know, given his recent history... He doesn't seem keen on doing response videos. Um, and why would he? You know, I hope everyone in the situation moves on, manages to to go on with their lives, and is okay. I think that uh, I think that Mark is kind of slimy, but. I don't know who isn't. It's not that big of a deal, in my opinion, you know, what I've seen so far. Um, you know, he's, he's acting a little bit like a petty schoolgirl. Maybe you wouldn't expect that from him, but it's not that big of a deal. Just being a little snide. Daft Pina, I'm unconvinced that by this video that he didn't have like a huge involvement and really want the video to come out. Um, but, you know, at the same time, that's that's kind of me just going off of intuition and what I've been told. There's no like direct evidence for any of this. You know, I wasn't there. You guys weren't there. So I don't really know what the total consensus is if I should really feel that, you know, um, Daft is the master manipulator, master of puppets master of puppets i'm pulling your strings you know i don't know if i should believe that or i should believe that uh that that sunny is the evil guy for leaking only fans nudes i don't care about that but you know daft said that he's done making the kind of investigative videos which is what got him a lot of hate in the first place so maybe he'll just go back to making kind of art critique videos which i think he was better at doing anyway and you know seems like everyone's ready to move on from the situation maybe webster says he's a kid bro he's definitely making poor choices is what is, is what it is well considering he's married to who he's married to yeah 20 is an apt true it's a 20 year old myself I could agree that 20 is an F. Um, well, I wasn't there. You guys weren't there. But I think uh, message that creepy reading to see if he's ready to call. I guess he was in chat and obviously he was there. So maybe he wants to talk about the situation a little bit. See what he says. I have to pee. I have to fucking piss my ball. But I'm going to try to not do that right now just because um, I feel like it's is it rude or something. Impolite. I don't really know. You ever hear, heard of Digibro? He used to be one of the biggest anime YouTubers ever. Open Lollicon and then he transitioned to lead everything interesting. Low cost seems like up your alley. Have I ever heard of Digibro? Have I ever heard of Digibro? This is two years old this re-upload is, but this actual video is like five or six years old. This is a re-upload of my video I did about him where I, I, th I said he's like a, a file and he used to be in jail forever. So I have heard of Digibro, believe it or not. I, I do know of Digibro. Oh, I wasn't showing up my screen, but you get the idea. I do know who Digibro is. Yeah, I do. I should say Digibro, she she is because Digibro transitioned. I'm not, I'm not trying to be transphobic, guys. Okay. There we go. You can see I spelled it really well. Digibro Turlet TP, comma. Still came up. This is the podcast I went on or the live stream I wanted to talk to him. This is the um 
fucking video I did. There's some funny moments in that video, um, but Digi definitely won that interaction. He basically threatened me with a lawsuit, and I started pissing myself because I was like 15. You live and learn, I guess, guys. You live and learn. Without further ado, we're going to do this thing where when I call someone, I bring up their channel. We're going to bring up that creepy reading. I, as you guys can't tell, I can't multitask because I can't type anything. Hello. Hello. What is up? That creepy reading. Should I? What, what should I call you for the stream? Uh, you can you can call me Austin. You can call me creepy. You can call me TCR. Uh, I mostly call myself creepy or TCR in uh, my own videos, but gotcha. my real name's Austin. Okay. All right. I'll try. I'll try Austin. But if it doesn't feel fitting, I'll call you creepy or something like that. Anyway, how's it going, yeah. buddy? How's uh, how's life? Oh, dude, dude cancer twitter's a hellscape and not real twitter is a hellscape and not real i know you've been getting in some drama with um with plagued moth i talked yeah, about it briefly no. in one video but i don't wh it's, what is the deal there okay so basically i watched this one video called um one girl 99 stomps uh counting with plague moth where he watches a 15 year old get stomped to death in the description uh, again i was like passing That's his whole out thing right he watches a uh, gore video yeah reacts to yeah. it and posts the it's censored on youtube but he posts the uncensored Patreon. yeah he, he won't admit that he posted the uncensored shit. he says that he stopped doing that despite selling it to me in 2022 and he just went out and called me a liar but a independent investigation by the patreon team had found that he had been indeed violating that rule again right. okay um but but long story short i i was watching the nsfl iceberg that nick spears did uh i was about to pass out i got auto played into 99 uh one girl 99 stomps and i noticed that in the description it straight up says uh uncensored version on patreon so i you know i was like what the hell uh, i looked into this guy like a lot of people had some issues with him but like the last person to call him out was like confirmed to be a nunce or something okay um so i was like i can't trust anything from like the farms or whatever so i got to confirm that for myself because this guy had already tried to use the farms to personally attack this guy um so i paid like five bucks to join the patreon and i got access to this room called the super secret video room um and i had access to that room for this approximately two months yeah this okay. is in discord okay and what was it what was in the got, super secret video room that was linked through patreon uh there was the um f the infamous four which is a series of videos that i believe cover uvalde uh i could be wrong on that one um sandy hook uh columbine and Daisy's Destruction, which is a snuff slash CP film. Yeah, I know what that is. Okay. Um, and then there was the uncensored videos. Now, I had learned later on that he had stopped posting the uncensored reactions, but he was still selling the old uncensored reactions in the video room. Mm -hmm. um, and these videos are, like, unlisted on BitChute. Through this Discord room, you could, like, get these links to BitChute, which I could perfectly send you. I think they're still up. He lost, he, From what I understand, he, he lost his BitChute account uh password so he hasn't been able to delete them um but basically yeah in some of the most rancid videos you've seen uh i watched this one on there after i paid for the patreon where the guy was uh watching the funky town gore video i don't know if you know what that one is i am familiar i won't yeah. so he's watching it and he's sitting there laughing his off about how the dude's vocal cords are starting to get high pitch as they're cutting through it like he's like mocking the guy dude makes merchandise off this sh so i'm sitting there going like what the hell that's the weird Why thing to am me because I, I don't i don't the thing is about that is like it is up but i don't particularly care because people do laugh to up things like who am i to say right right like, i saw him like he was like calling out someone who was like making fun of him for like transphobia on twitter and i was like well yeah he he calls people transphobes all the time like just like in general like to, as a response to most criticism well, I was thinking, like why do you care about transphobia if you like are, are okay with watching videos of people dying and like laughing at it you know what i mean it's kind yeah, of that's strange that's priorities what I, list you know it, it's weird to be like taking that court sort of like high ground when yeah. you're content is so like bottom of the barrel um mm. like shock i dude straight up right now there's an unlist there's an unrestricted video like unage restricted a video on a channel called the amber alert video where you can listen to a baby get beaten to death really um yeah and that's that's it's called amber alert and it's like seven minutes 37 seconds into it um like I probably don't this play is the that reason stream, but i'll, I'll don't, yeah don't play that don't play that on stream <laughs> i i've listened to it today and had like a little bit of a breakdown all right yeah, that's gross that's 
fucked up. It's it's it, so obviously my my issue uh, with him uh, stems from the fact that he lets minors into his community despite being a self admitted um, eighteen plus content creator. Mm-hmm. He says that the Discord's moderated, but like I saw, I got screenshots of this one instance where a person named Churi, who is a minor, was uh, some some dude made a gif of like Slipknot and like it had like the line, um, "I want to cut your throat open and." it and then he like oh, tagged yeah. the minor and was like this is what i want to do to you and the worst he got was like a three hour mute for that yeah I know, like I know do we lyrics. really want minor like like if this guy was doing p- and there were minors in his community even if that was regulated like why are why are minors following a p- star yeah no yeah obviously. um but and i think that watching gore especially you know several videos that involve infants you know, it's not it's not the thing that children need to like 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 in in high school you don't need like I know in high school that I've seen some fucked up, shit, but like mm. you don't need to make it super accessible. No, I especially agree. the fact mm. like and here's the thing too that really bothered me. There's um he does eight like if he did no age verification at all and was just like everyone who joins her Patreon is eighteen. This is what I believe. This is what I'm doing. That's fine, but that's not what he does because like for the nudes channel you need to show a uh, photo ID along with your Discord like thing written on a piece of paper with your like face clearly visible yeah in order to see the nudes but he doesn't do the same sort of verification with the gore that's really yeah that's once again a strange it's like priorities list you're like already doing this age verification thing why not implement it for your community where you already know there are minors after all this stuff i was just gonna say someone in chat says this and i i've heard this before too he blames it all on him being like gender fluid or non-binary or something right yeah completely like he he's like at first the reason why and this is stupid all right i virtue singled a little bit and i got a little too full of myself but he made a video where he's like yeah kiwi farms is coming after me because of my identity and gender and they've done this before and they're doing it again and finally on it's like no they aren't right you you just make videos where you monetize child abuse and human suffering and then you laugh at it while taking a paycheck home while pretending that the in Hogwarts video game is the worst thing that's ever happened. Like, does he actually is he on the side of the anti Hogwarts? Yeah, yeah, people? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why he's calling Savox transphobic because he bought the f- Harry Potter game. Oh um, my god! And we laughed at the, <laughs> the dress. Wow. I- I've been getting harassed for like a week. Like, they've threatened my pets. He's been encouraging them uh, to like spam my videos and like. Uh, with me on Twitter, um, like he said, there's this one person in his Discord who said, and I quote, um, I'd let my cat eat the sh- out of their guinea rats. And then he responded to that with, I bet he's burning them right now on 4chan. Like, dude's like straight up in like weaponizing his audience and like encouraging this harassment. And it's mm. been like demoralizing, you know? Like, I thought that we'd be all on the same page of maybe there needs to be more like restrictions on like just showing this kind of content like showing this uncensored audio and like gleefully like rolling around in the blood puddles like yeah you know i'm, I'm looking at his uh his uh kiwi farms right now i'm just not showing it on stream because I, I don't want to show his docs if it's there or anything but it doesn't look like the majority of people who are mad at him are mad because of his gender fluid status in fairness kiwi farms is very uh a lot of yeah a, a no, lot of kiwi trans farms hates everyone. congregate there but yeah kiwi, kiwi farms hates everyone I mean, like, the best I can get is being slightly less autistic than Nexpo, and I don't know if that's, like, an insult to him or me, because I actually have autism, so if Nexpo doesn't, it could be very well just them using me to insult him, like. Yeah, they just, they seem, uh, in my experience, they're not usually mad at someone just because. Right, um, right. Trans, just because they're trans. It's usually that. I, that would be, like, an insult paired with, like, what they actually, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Um. So, anyway, I reported the Patreon because it's very much a against TOS to supply this content. And I only reported it after two months because not a single mod plagued him off himself or anyone reached out to me to, to verify who I was as a person, right? I, I just figured that, you know, the access to gore shouldn't be behind a $5 pay gate. And since he'd already been warned once for doing this and already got nuked once for doing this, you know, I just sent in one report. I didn't, like, encourage my fans to do it. I didn't even fucking talk about it until Plague Moth started making it about his gender. And it's like, you know, that just kind of pissed me off. <laughs> like, mm. what the fuck does this have to do with your gender? Um, The, the biggest thing is, is that he won't admit this ever happened. And... Like, he, of course, like, I came out with some screenshots, and, you know, they're a little cropped and a little too specific, and honestly, I 
fucked up by not just screen recording my screen and showing people the process of buying and getting access. That was a, a my bad. And I probably shouldn't have come forward unless if I had more stuff ready to go. But at this point, I've been like contacted by like a lot of people. I've been like, you know, like people that are in his community that are like honestly fed up with his behavior, like want it to stop, want him to, you know, just take a little bit of accountability for this. Like, I don't want the dude to lose his platform. I don't want to cancel him. I just yeah. want him to understand mm. the material that he makes and start age restricting it appropriately. Mm. Like, yeah, I, like I've I said, been looking at his uh, his tweets in particular, and I'm kind of um, I'm confused by stuff he says. I, I'd seen them before. I've been, you know, full disclosure, been kind of lurking this story a little bit before talking about it or anything it's completely fine and if you want screenshots i swear to god i got them all categorized on my computer i'm working on a project because the harassment's gone out of hand yeah i'd be curious to see that i know he's been threatening to sue you or something he um, can no no honestly i'd love for him to sue me just so i can prove my point that i'm not lying like like I don't care. My family, just full disclosure, we, we I come from a law family. You know, I know people who are in law that can help me probably pro bono if something like that happens. So I'm just kind of like, yeah, f it. If you want to sue me, just do it. Shut me up. Let's take this to court and let's show the world exactly who you are. Yeah, he he tweets a lot. What's going on? Um... Every single one of his videos is like like telling people that like like at, at least as of recently that I'm targeting his family and that through my harassment and mass flagging, I managed to get his income taken away. Dude, it was one stupid autistic person. Five minutes of research that was able to shut down the entire operation with one report. And and for someone who's against mass reporting, he certainly did encourage his audience to mass report me. Did he really? Yeah. Here's a screenshot. Uh, Here because of doxing and targeted harassment. Did you dox him? No. I did. I, I haven't even mentioned anyone outside of the fact that he has a family. Like I've kept every single personal fact that I know about him private because my issue is with him and his behavior. It has absolutely nothing to do with his family. Although I, I've gotten some pretty nasty comments from his wife. You know, it's to be expected. Yeah. Well, I've been. The, th the confusing thing about it for me is I saw him tweeting about. It was it was a tweet. It was something to the effect of like, well, they're now trying to take away my income. Everyone knows we don't have insurance, so now I can't pay for my young daughter's like diabetes or something. Dude um, was making five grand a month, like well, or more. Well, the thing like, is, that's my I, question. I actually found this uh, post that they had gathered on Kiwi. It says, "I literally don't care, hypocrite, lol. Just made 10k. What are you doing? Oh, right, Reddit. See you in 10 years. Oh." <laughs> Um, yeah, he brags about his money a lot. Like, he thinks my issue with him is because he makes more money than me. And quite frankly, that's furthest from the truth. It's the fact that I've been exposed to baby crushing and, yeah. you know, like stuff like that. Because, like I said, it, it's just imagine what happens when the New York Times makes an article called uh, YouTuber Profits Off of Child Abuse. Right. We all fucking lose our paychecks. No, yeah. I mean, that would look... I mean, it, that might happen. That would look Vice, terrible. Vice already did. Like, well, you know, oh, yeah, it's I already heard, happened. Actually, I, I know the article happened. Did they... Were they critical of him? Were they, like, YouTube... They were pretty... Down? They were shitting on him. They were on him. Got this. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like kind of a liability. But at the same time, I'm kind of not on the side of censoring him. I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of here to make fun of him. Again, um, I'm not sitting. Again, I'm not for censoring or deplatforming him. Honestly, his subscribe star count is doing pretty okay. Uh, I don't want to take that away from him. I just want him to expel the miners in his community, in his 18 plus community, because like we've, I've already seen instances where mods have failed to take the appropriate action when you know these miners are interacting with people who have gore addictions i'm just and questioning i'm always curious about the financial stuff with this he, he he's bragged before about making 10k i assume 10k a month because we get paid on a monthly basis uh he lost his youtube monetization but i do know he has like a gamer sub sponsorship um okay. i mean even outside I'm, of that from patreon he was making a bunch of money right yeah so like he, he had like sponsors and the patreon was like at like five six k um does he spend but all yeah, of it? All where does that go i mean rent groceries he, he's like, he's got a lot of kids i'm not gonna say how many but I've been oh. informed by people who are close to him that he has like a pretty large family to take care of. Okay. So I don't doubt that he's either wasted his money or that like, you know, it got sucked up by medical or and that this this period of time, like I'm not doubting that. I'm just saying it's not my responsibility because Patreon already gave him a second chance. Yeah. I mean, the thing about it is, if you know, if you have a family like that, it's kind of your own responsibility to make sure that you can get your income ripped away so you can keep supporting them, you know? Um. So like, I don't I don't want to like again it's not about that to me it's the it's, it's just the continuous irresponsible behavior and then the fact that whenever anyone calls it out it's like they're a transphobe or you know right. that they're, they're 
and Jimmy J's Horror Terrarium because that guy's like a f***ing nuns. He's a really and unique guy. that guy uh, called him out. He's a unique guy. Like, he, he is unique in this way. Like, I've never quite seen someone use those arguments and also be watching gore videos on YouTube, so. Like I said, I've seen this guy literally pay gate a video where he's laughing about someone being brutally murdered, and then he gave the cartel a 6 out of 10 for creativity. I got a f screenshot that's like just so unironically like insane um it's in my bad takes folder um just his like, tweets are very uh i know this is kind of like just kind of a nothing burger but he does a lot of uh cringe tweeting he, he, yeah, he, gets, yeah, he tries he to get people's like attention a lot he says check your dms you famous f in response to Budahar. to wendigoon he says at wendigoon 8 so uh my audience is rallying for us to collab want to talk about that by chance yeah i'm i'm pretty sure that the i'm, I'm pretty sure that um these people aren't talking to him currently is because you know i mean look at the content he makes like he, he's literally monetized like at the time that amber alert came out i believe his channel had monetization don't quote me on that but uh it was 2021 and i believe i've seen some age age like like appeals or uh, appeals for monetization um in 2022 so at that time, uh, at worst, this video had a yellow dollar sign, and it like contains un like like audio. I mean, it, it's a little cut, you know, because he you get to hear like the slapping and the baby crying, and then he like cuts it off. He's like, "Wow, that was horrible!" Like, yeah, no f dip. Y y y Accidentally just pulled up some not safe for life because I clicked on one of his followers' accounts. Great. Um, yeah. Only for yeah, one second, yeah. though. This, this, I think it's a Discord mod responding to your tweet. They say, dude, you literally have to show your face and ID or else you can't look at literally any NSFW-related Not even a birth no, certificate that's not suffices. True. Not, not true. true. Not true. See, see, the gore is only locked behind Patreon, and they've even said that they don't need to do that for Patreon because everyone who uses Patreon is 18+. plus. Okay. But... There is no age restriction for the Patreon videos that were uncensored. There is age verification for the uh, nudes um, because they do this like IRL, like post your own nudes thing because he asks for nudes from his fans occasionally. Um, yeah, I know he does like, that. I've seen uh, some some weird some type tweets going on i don't know what the deal is there i don't want to speculate too much but some strange psychology going on with this life i guess yeah D like i said the it's the the gore videos like there is like hills like say like you have to have this and that you, you everyone has to age id no 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 all it took for me was about six bucks on patreon because right. no he doesn't if he has my id post it straight talk post my id Where, okay you here's the question i guess were you doing it on your like youtube account so he would just yes assume? well that's the what, yeah. what do you just assume that you're 18 in that case well i mean I, I i did okay he didn't know who i was before this drama happened okay so, so i i used my youtube patreon yes he didn't know who i was okay sure do you know if anyone else has, has gone through the same experience uh i've had several people reach mm. out to me including one person who <laughs> tweeted out that they bought it when they were 17 um and that it's not his fault because uh they lied about their age but um if there was the id verification that wouldn't be a problem because th you you id this guy this guy said that they're 17 and that there's nothing wrong with it gotcha yeah they say i'm 17 and i joined the server of plague moth since i had bought his patreon and i did click on the uncensored links however i have nothing against plague moth and i don't think he should get hit either since i knew what i was into this guy's on plague moth's side and he's throwing him down a well in the super secret videos channel there's a sec titled uncensored and bit shoot wahahaha um, churi is a minor who at one point was given mod status i think she's currently 16 from what people in the server are telling me damn okay that's not good looking at the dms from the server they say always enjoy it who is who's, is cannabis a mod or something um anyone with purple uh names have are mods <sighs> okay this person is not a mod then they have a white name always enjoy it they can take away your job but they can't take away your high this person said i'm a minor smithy mcsmith said low good point they said so if it's not illegal if you don't get caught right not legal advice not a, are they telling kids to like smoke weed is that what's going on here yeah i mean that's not like what i'm worried about again it's just the fact that i wanted to prove that there are minors in his community despite the fact that his content should not be consumed by anyone under 18 this person says aa want to be friends i'm kind of socially awkward so anyone want to be friends i'll provide info on me in dms i'm a minor so please keep that in mind i like having friends says how old are you this person says i'm 15 gore content there's like literally access he, to his wife TV. straight up his wife straight up like like, admits that there are minors in there too like they know about it they just don't give a sh like they're like well technically we do it, but it's like for five but like honestly if you're 14 years old do a few art commissions put that into a paypal account and then open up a patreon account they won't ask you for sh
So Andrew Person says, we have miners in the Discord that isn't the secret. It isn't a Gore Discord, never has been. We have a separate section for 18 plus where you have to ID verify to have access, idiot. Why even, uh... Why even, why? Why even have miners at all? Yeah, I, I don't really get it. Like, like, w show me the videos that he makes that are appropriate for kids. Um, it must be that Amber Alert one, because it's not 18 restricted. Is there a count going to be for, for life if I scroll through it? Or... Uh, for... Uh, Plague Moths or mine or... His girlfriend or his wife. I, I have no idea. They blocked me pretty quick. Okay. Um, but I don't think that it will be entirely... She has, like, been, like, schizo posting on, like, videos that have come out against me, basically saying I'm taking food out of the mouths of her kids. And okay. it's like, again, I'm sorry that that's a unfortunate reality of what happened, but he, he was already warned once. And I only, like, he's, like, going out there saying that I'm mass reporting him, doing this targeted campaign against him, when in reality, no, I'm just one stupid kid, or not a kid, I'm, I'm just one stupid person that made the f*** up of not exactly documenting my journey as well as I could have. Um, CEB Applejack and, in chat says, if, if it is behind a paywall, what's the issue? The issue is not IDing minors, right? Andrew. Right. The issue is that there, no one, there's no ID verification, and I know a lot of minors that use Patreon because they're in my community. You don't need to be 18 to use Patreon. Patreon doesn't ask for IDs, and all you need is a bogus PayPal account and the ability to do some art commissions. Like, it's not hard. And yeah. the fact is, is that if this was, like, I don't want to walk this back. Plagued has said that he never offered this content ever ever since um the in patreon was nuked that it, this is all me lying that i don't have any evidence that i'm just i that i like basically made a false report and then went oh whoa is the kids and then got his money taken away when in reality no everything that i said happened happened but then they walk it back to me being like well why is it bad that kids see the funky town gore video where he laughs at him and i'm like i don't know how to respond to that CB Applejack says you just lie about your age and get around it. Well, the way they were doing age verification, I guess the idea was that you just show your um, ID, basically. Yeah, like you have to show your ID. And like I've I talked to people that went through this. I've seen how it it's done. It's You have to show an ID. You have to be holding a piece of paper that set, has your like full username. And you have to like have your face in it. And like you send it to like a mod or plagued or whatever. And he'll verify you. Yeah. Um. So if that was done for the Gore video server mm. uh, or Gore channel, there wouldn't really be an issue even if it is against tos for patreon i guess i wouldn't really have much of a moral objection it's just the fact is i paid five bucks and didn't talk i didn't talk to anyone for months no one reached out to me for months um and it was just it just remained up and then the thing that really broke the final straw was when my patreon lapsed the patreon bot took away my uh role which revoked my access to the gore room so it he literally is pay gating uncensored gore videos right um with a lot of people going there specifically so that they can see those videos are so much be, so are you doing that, a video about this uh yeah i'm working on it it's i'm a slow editor and i want to make sure i have my ducks in a row because honestly the the backlash i've gotten uh shows me that my tweets have been inadequate and this guy's just going to keep making videos calling me out saying that i'm taking away his daughter's insulin and all that stuff and i'm not going to be able to keep fighting that on twitter because he's like bigger than me um right so i guess my only real option is to make a video going through all this and I, I, you're you're experiencing me 70 percent of the way done with the research but um the simple fact of the matter is that he could prove me wrong with audit logs uh he said that this room never existed. He, apparently, it was deleted the night of the drama. If he shows the audit logs from that time, he should be able to prove that the room never existed. Right. Um, but he doesn't. And anytime anyone asks, he ignores them. The only person who's talking to people outside of like people that already agree with him is me. And I just, it's hard to talk to so many people at the same time, especially since like you need to understand that I'm I'm not good in a live stream format. All right, I'm I'm gonna be completely honest. I suck at that um i think you're doing all right I, on this stream i mean you're, you're explaining yourself pretty well i i appreciate you giving me an opportunity to um talk about this because like i said it's just it, the, the stuff that this guy says about me like you know it's like he, oh it's only a matter of time till they find really on his computer or uh like like you just don't sit in your discord encouraging your audience some of which are minors the 
with people. Like, why are you weaponizing your audience like that? You, you can't, I don't know. If you watch his live stream, he doesn't, like, provide any evidence. He just, like, threatens me with physical violence and, like, says that I'm a liar, says that I came from Kiwi Farms, when in reality, again, I looked at it, sure, but, like, who the f*** doesn't? We all make videos yeah. and they make fun of all of us. Truth is that I came from Kiwi Farms. Um, I'm gonna read a bit, a few chat messages, and then if you don't mind, we can talk about the Mark stuff a little bit. Yeah, okay. Um, Sod Trafalgar Law says, how does he know people are going there specifically to see gore, not to support his content, since you can just Google the gore anyway? Way. Um, because in the Patreon, people specifically like I I screenshotted a lot of the Patreon before I uh, before it was nuked, and uh, there's countless comments saying I only came here for the gore. Where's the gore? Uh, this is I, why is it censored? I don't want it uncensored. I'm paying for uncensored. Like um, I can I can post a few of those here. Sure, Just. Yeah. Take a look at this. Like, again, this is what informed my decision for a lot of this stuff because he, like, straight up denies that people are doing this, but it's like most people are there so they can access that room to the point where, from what I understand, uh, the super secret video room used to be at the bottom of the list of rooms, but so many people kept asking for it that literally, like, a month before I paid for the Patreon, he had to move it from the bottom to the top so people would stop asking about it. Right. Here we have uh, Vegan B. East, Alex saying, yo, buddy, are you going to make uncensored versions of these videos or will it always be blurred on the tier video? Sorry if I'm being a dumb but I can only find the censored link for YouTubes. Is there an uncensored version of this video? If so, I can't seem to figure it out. Me neither. I've subscribed to see the uncensored. The link's not working for me. It's just a black screen. Um, I just don't understand why content involving pain or death is censored. Why is it wrong to know what organized crime organizations do to people? Damn, I just joined for uncensored content. Same. I'm not going to lie. I came here for the uncensored content. I trust your judgment on stuff, so I knew I could see it and not be scarred for life. Just a day or so. Haha. <laughs> I'm not leaving, though. I really enjoy the infamous four, and I like learning about the side of humanity. Blah, blah, blah. Um, the only people stupid enough to pay for this f***ing gore like straight talk our kids what kind of f***ing fully adult grown man is going to pay this guy for well, is the idea that they can they see can the, the uncensored um reaction or whatever yeah, the only difference between the reaction reactions like it's not like there's extra content it's it's just straight up like the video doesn't have the 25 percent gauzen blur on it anymore gotcha okay um, by the way the, the gauzen blur is super light you can tell what's going on in a Russia's lot of these. modern gulags guerrero flaying at ghost rider revisit azov fiction world corp part one after special i think i know they made world um interesting well i guess it's kind of a situation i mean i don't really have a, a a dog in this race a horse in this race but i guess good luck on the drama. i mean you don't we'll, we'll see how it turns you, out you, you know? don't i don't but i'm glad that like you the thing is that i need help getting this public and you're already helping me do that sure in a way where i can just get my screenshots out there without it being interrupted by a billion people who are sitting in there and voice with him like being told what to say and it's like uh, I learned a lot about Twitter um, from this, but you know, it's like, yeah, I, I got I got plenty of proof that all of this stuff at the very least happened. And if you want to argue whether or not that, like, if you want to argue with me whether or not it's bad for him to be pay gating gore, um, that's that's a different discussion. But it is against Patreon's TOS. And upon seeing his highly distressing content, I you know I I felt compelled to report it. Again, one person, I didn't make a YouTube video. I didn't go into my Discord and be like, guys, I can take them down. You know, it, it yeah. was just one report with some screenshots. I'll even uh, send it here. At the time, people would request gore from the server, and yes, they would receive it. No, I never asked. I use this content as a way to look out and avoid certain content. But yes, at the time, the server uses an outlet for people to trade that content, including himself. So they were trading gore on the server. You yeah, they were. Um, like, again, this guy says that this never happened on Patreon. Like, his argument is he never did this and he stopped uh, in 2021. But that's just not true. And the thing is that people are lying. They're, like, saying that, like, oh, why did Creepy wait for a whole f***ing year to talk about this? When it's like, I bought it in November. <laughs> like, right. last year in November, you know, I didn't get this in 2021 I got this in 2022. Now, admittedly, I think that we need to be fair here in saying that he did stop posting new uncensored reactions, at least in that room. But he was still paygating it, and people, it was still popular enough to make it the top room in the server. So that way people knew exactly where to look for it. Right. Um, um, well, on that note, I guess it'd be it'd be good to transition to the Mark stuff, if you don't mind. I'm kind of Okay, curious. yeah, yeah, I can, I can talk about that. So I guess, you know, you already talked in the Sugar Rounds Five says, I feel like you need to go harder against this guy. He literally admitted that one of the Gore videos is basically just CP and he's selling that. Uh, I don't know if he's selling the CP. Uh, from what I've heard from other people, they said that like that video 
picked him up and that he legitimately would not send that. But he does play child abuse, which I'd consider to be unacceptable on the channel, especially when it's like the point is, is to have a wacky jinx style reaction to like someone, some horrible audio where yeah. he doesn't really explain the situation he's just trying to shock and all you for profit and it's right. like cool okay well on the mark stuff i guess um i just have a few questions we can make it kind of quick because you did talk about it in the daft video we got some insight there but yes um so do you think that daft is uh how much does he have culpability how much blame um, do you think he deserves for this situation i'd say that i, I put like probably like if we're going to talk about specifically with the people who made the video uh I, i'd say like 80 percent would probably be Braxton and then I, I I give Daft and everyone else uh the last 20 percent with Daft having the biggest chunk out of that because his um, goal seemed to be to kind of shift blame and be like you know it wasn't really me it was really Braxton I even told him not to post the video that day I, it's I don't blame Braxton though uh like honestly like I don't I, I understand Braxton's mental state he had been working on that video for so fucking long and he just like felt like he needed to get out there he, he thought dude thought he was doing something to help his buddy um and there was no one socially aware enough out of like the 20 people that them to tell them that it was like really dumb yeah the and social the I social was, ineptitude is on another level in this situation if it is it absolutely fucking is like i i genuinely think daft might have autism or something um i don't know what 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 the situation is there uh i don't think daft acted maliciously but i do think that both braxton and daft engaged in pretty fucking sneaky behavior uh that didn't need to be engaged in like th 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 i know that they brought up uh bringing mark into a call and like that being done under false pretenses it's like yeah that's an intervention you should do it under false pretenses but at the same and i also don't mind it being recorded but you shouldn't like bring that up in your video and you should have let the intervention just be an intervention like when it's across state lines i believe it's actually one party consent so you don't even have to worry about that um especially if you're not trying to pull a gotcha but like you know both of them seem to be pretty okay with the idea of recording it and you know making sure that they get mark's pseudo consent for doing so uh th the point is that i i don't think that's like as much sneakiness as much as that's like them being completely unaware of handle that like honestly what yeah. the this, the, the, uh, the, the social skills don't seem strong. Are you are, I you, are you older than them? You're a little older. I'm 20. Right? Uh, I'm actually, uh, I think me and Daft are the same age. I'm 25. Okay. Um, I've been doing this for, I've been doing the YouTube thing for like 10 years now. Yeah, um, I remember you back in the day because I used to watch Creepypasta videos when, uh, like Mr. Creepypasta was, was a big deal. So I remember you from back oh, then. Oh, dude, yeah. I didn't know that you were um, 14 then. But yeah, no, 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 no. A lot of people didn't realize that. Um, I, I'm I'm pretty f***ing young. Uh, but no, I do think that there is room to criticize Daft. He definitely deserves to be criticized. But in my opinion, they're both leaving drama. Who gives a sh Yeah. I mean, that would kind of Like, after dealing with the gore guy, who gives a shit about Mark? He's already getting the punishment of having to be with Veronica, right? Like, I don't give a sh Daft, block him. And Braxton should block them. Like yeah. everyone should just go in their own lanes and do their own thing. I'm pretty sure if it's really bad, Mark will have to learn that for himself. That that's just kind of growing up, you know. Sure. Um, I think chat just trolled me a little. They said Sonny was talking about the drama, but I went his stream. And it looks like he's just. There's like three people watching. He's playing Kingdom Hearts. I guess I don't really know, but anyway. Um, what's your opinion on Sonny? Why, why does everyone? Uh, everyone seems to really not like him. He to do a little bit, I guess. He he, he did. A yeah. Bit. So so the first time he sent me a message, I thought it was just like cringe and try hard. Um, because he was working on a video uh, about Daft, and he didn't like what I had to say in a debate I had with Just a Robot. Okay. Um, basically, I criticized Just a Robot for using Sunny as a source when like the dude does like posting troll faces unironically in 2020 like um like this guy clearly has a bone to pick he's like leaking stuff like y you look at this dude's online history and it's all just like virtue signaling trolly behavior and like he clearly has like some serious issues so i just don't understand why uh just a robot would have used him and i said basically he's crazy you know um and it wasn't even a big part of the debate it was like in this i think it was in the second debate like an hour and a half in and i'm like i don't know how anyone made it through the first one i 
fucking suck at live speaking. <laughs> that debate was horrible. I swear to God, only I could make it look hard to debate like a commentary YouTuber. Yeah. Um, but uh, like it was a small part in there. So he was putting me in the video and he wanted me to like, I don't know, react to him. And uh, he like sends me that picture. And then when I block him, he's like, oh, look, another one of Daft Pina's simp bots or whatever, like blocked me. And it's like, is this how he reacts to everyone? Um, and then he made that video. And then like time passes. I already have him blocked. I have I told Mark like, hey, I don't like your buddy doing this. Um, I don't really think the videos are good. And I'm like, you know, like I don't really want to be in this dude's orbit. Um, so I'm not going to be in the video currently, but uh, maybe we can work on something in the future. Maybe after this blows over, I'll even find someone. He just can ghost me. Right. Okay. Um, and I'm like, okay, cool. And then he fucking does it again. And like he has like only a hundred followers, and one of those people is Mark. Meaning that like every time this dude gets banned, he goes to Mark and is like, "Hey, can you please follow me?" <laughs> it's like, okay, what do you get banned for this time? Oh, I was accusing someone of being transphobic with no evidence again, or some. Sh I don't know. Um, Sunny TM's like a complicated guy who's like entire online history involves like getting like rises out of people through pretty low handed tactics in my opinion yeah, again it's just not sure. someone I really want in my corner it's not someone that I want talking to me I don't want him looking no, at I mean, me I, know, I, I mean fair enough I don't blame you for that um, once again like I, 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 I'll be a, I'll admit here that my wording was a little bit too harsh I should have probably called it cyber trolling yeah, um, I, I just I wouldn't, say, I wouldn't say he was stalking but I, I get your frustration I was I was frustrated at the time um, and that like this stuff with Plague Moth taught me what real cyber stalking's like. Mm. So, uh, yeah, no, that was a little terminally online, but I, uh, I definitely do think that this guy is kind of shitty for YouTube. I don't think he he's ever going to be a good content creator. Um, I think he's, I think Mark, I don't know why Mark hangs out with him like at all. It, it, it just makes no sense. I mean, I understand like being friends with someone, but like, you know, if you know that they're this terrible online, why would you like use your platform to keep promoting him? You know, there's like different, there's a difference between being friends behind the scenes and like business associating. This guy's a a good guy you should trust him watch his cool new video like and it's like horrible you know i don't know why you would go out of your way to put your reputation on the line to uh yeah i mean i don't, I don't really know what's guy. um what corner of the internet you're from i guess creepy pasta it's pretty different from uh, i i do mostly horror uh i'm like close with a lot of the true crime guys uh my best friend is like blame it on jorge uh yeah, he's, um, he's so cool yeah the thing the thing about this is and i think maybe this is just a thing that you know you're not in these circles a lot for me personally i mean i you know the stuff sunny does is like you know i'm not gonna you know no it's just crazy it's just it's, it's, honestly yeah, like yeah. to me it's some level of cringe but it's also like i'd be hypocritical if i totally called him out because you know when i was younger i did stuff like that and to this day i'm sure i have friends that do stuff like that you know whether yeah, i know about it I, or not I, I wasn't i was not in a good place mentally too i was like overly stressed out um you know that uh that, that video i did before uh like really hit me so the timing was really bad uh but like at the same time it's like if you don't know who you're messaging and well like what how they might react you could really be like with someone's day for like no fucking reason um and yeah, I get that. like i, said, I, would, I don't I would recommend in the future just with people like that probably just block them because uh you know wait when you say stuff like that especially on live stream like now you're gonna have people trying to get a rise out of you you know oh nah, nah, yep yeah, yep yeah, i know i know yeah. i've 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 learned a lot since i recorded that audio mm -hmm. um you know, I've I, this guy. I hate to bring it back to Plague Moth, but he's like threatening my pets. You know, like he's calling me a zoophile. I get how bad it can get, and I understand why, why how he, much. Why is he calling murder. you a zoophile? Is it just because you're with him and now he's he's like it's all fair game is that it? i have guinea pigs and i posted pictures of them and that is it there is no other reason to call me that i have sure. i have pets i guess sure. and okay. i posted them while this drama was happening so he's like oh he's a guinea f uh you know he, he'd probably burn them on 4chan it's only a matter of time before his kiwi farms color shows you know that kind of sh apparently a lot of he, he he's done a lot of I just, don't get, the, I just don't get why he's talking about, like, how Kiwi Farm is the worst place when Plague Moth spends time... Like, Plague Moth is horrible. pretty f***ing transphobic, too. Like, I, 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 hate to, I hate to bring this out, but, you know, someone, like, reached out to me. I won't name their name, but uh, he... This person's 17, and they are, um... The person's 17, and they are trans, and... Sorry, I'm just being harassed. You can keep talking. I'm sorry. No worries. No, it's no worries. fine. I'll uh, eat it. I'll eat it. I'll eat the...
eating Rice Krispie with a poop on it. It's okay. You, you can keep talking. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. So there's a person on Twitter. Uh, they're trans. They're 17. And they're like, Plague Moth, I really don't stand by the shit you're doing. And in response, they post like their old Reddit account with like their dead name in it. And they're like, hey, can you please just censor my dead name? And they're like, uh, usernames aren't real names. And if you don't want this to be out there, maybe delete your tweet about me and my husband. You know, like, like, and everyone in the comments are like, hey, don't do that. That That's like really shitty. Just censor their dead name. Like your issue is with what they're saying, not their identity, right? But, you know, Plague Moth is, will only call someone transphobic or like, will I'll only go to transphobia when someone's criticizing them. But if, if yeah. he engages in transphobic behavior, it's completely fine. I get what you're saying. I guess I guess I would say that um, what he did to me doesn't seem that transphobic. If that's their Reddit account, I mean, if it's a public Reddit, I mean, any post it. I don't think it's, it's an old to censor it. You the, know? the Twitter, it's like an old picture though, and the Reddit, like I think from what I understand, was changed or deleted. So it's like he's bringing up old deleted just to shame this guy but the, he's not shaming it for their um transition i mean they the guy everyone in the comments are like hey can you at least just like put a little censor over the name and like in response they're like delete your tweet and maybe you know it's like a blackmailing thing you know it's like if you don't want this out there then you have to apologize and lick our boots you know okay. it's like that's that's you have to take it all in at once because like you know like individually it's like whatever i could kind of see that but it's like once you've been made aware of it and you double down like just say j just say that like i disagree and move on don't don't can like tell the person to delete their mean thing about you sure. um okay all right um i hate to, to rush you off stream but i just want to talk about some other, other stuff but no um, worries is there anything you want to say just to, to wrap up your takes on both of these i guess okay so with the ellis mark and daft pina situation um i don't really think there's anyone that's going to come out of this looking like a hero uh honestly uh it's just a lot of people not realizing that they should not be friends with each other and then that leaking online because no one has the self-awareness to realize realize that videos on YouTube and real life friendships aren't the f***ing same. Mm -hmm. um, I don't blame Braxton as much as like I'm a little upset with him for not like admitting that he kind of f***ed me over a little bit. Um, like that's my big biggest issue with Braxton. It's just like I feel like there's a lot of things to take accountability for and he just doesn't in favor of talking about Daft. When it's like, cool, you know, you can talk about Daft and, like, have your issues with them, but, like, you know, in your taking accountability video, you really should just take accountability. I, I, that's that, that was my only issue, especially since there was, like, shit that he didn't even talk about that I felt were really wrong and that he had been made aware of before the video release, so. Right. I, I don't know. It, it's just it's just a little weird to me um i love braxton he makes great content now like like i, I did like his uh, gretzko video i think that sticking to media criticism will really do him favors and i'm hoping that daft's new direction uh, works out for him that's where the plague mob i don't want to hurt his kids i didn't even know how many or you know what 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 that situation was i just made one report and unfortunately didn't document my journey well enough but i'm hoping that my new video will clear the air a little bit and maybe de-escalate things while encouraging some genuine positive change because there's absolutely no reason why miners should be in that server right i'd, I'd agree with that hopefully uh, the drama gets gets resolved looking forward to your video when it comes out i'll watch it and uh if plague moth wants to talk to me on stream listen i'll give him a fair shake maybe we can get a debate set up i'll fuck gladly do it i got plenty of screenshots like i, I i'm ready to fucking go cool all right well take care buddy hope you have a good one all right and uh you too sleep tight. Don't, listen don't let don't let the internet trolls bite okay don't take it too seriously you'll be fine bro i appreciate that all right see so, ya yeah, that's the end of that call listen guys i saw you when i'm on chat i thought it was interesting you know it's good it's good to have people from uh from these situations have a conversation with me uh -oh.